Hello, good evening, and welcome to our Vampire the Masquerade Chronicle, L.A. by Night. Tonight, we bring you the gala party of Season 4, Episode 6, Hollywood Forever. Let's meet our Hollywood vampires. <laughs> Hi, I'm Josephine McAdam, and I play Eva. My name is Alex Ward, and I play Jasper. I'm Erica Ishii, and I play Annabelle. I'm Xander Genere, and I play X. I'm Cynthia Marie, I play Nelly G. I'm B. Dave Walters, I play Victor Temple, and I'm sure this is gonna be silky smooth and uneventful. <laughs> Everyone remember that he said that. <laughs> said it out loud. I'll make a note. I'm willing it into existence. <laughs> LA by Night has an amazing coterie that supports our stream. And an important member of this coterie is Backblaze. When the second inquisition takes down your ShrekNet system at home, will you be ready? You will if you have a subscription to Backblaze, the emergency cloud backup restoration system that is easy to use for kindred and kind. For $6 a month, you get an extraordinarily simple way to safeguard your important files, your videos, your music, uh, your Word documents, your PDFs, and even your LA by Night fan art and fan fiction. Backblaze has been supporting LA by Night for several seasons now. They're sponsoring this entire season four so that we can bring it to you, the family. So show them some love at backblaze.com slash LA by Night. We'd also like to thank the master craftspeople at Level Up Dice. Level Up makes gorgeous, official Vampire the Masquerade luxury metal dice, one set for every clan, both the factions and even those pesky thinbloods. If you'd like to get your own set to use in your home chronicles, visit levelupdice.net and check them out there. Elysium, Salon, Espat, Rants and Raves, Gangrel Moots, Torridor Balls, Nosferatu Hostings, A Child's Presentation to the Prince. All of these form an important part of any kindred's existence, namely the social life of the damned. Social events can be as dangerous and unpredictable as any physical violence, as strategic and delicate as any diplomatic gamesmanship. And many times in the world of darkness, it is difficult to tell the difference between hospitality and hostility. So, with this very firmly in mind, let's tell a vampire story. Hollywood, arguably the most famous neighborhood in the world. 
And now the political and social heart of the barony run by Nellie G. It's in Hollywood that we find ourselves tonight for a very important event. The baronial out and in of one baron and the new one. Now, some housekeeping first. Tonight's episode takes place just a few hours later than the previous one. So, in our previous episode, Eva and Jasper got into it, not with each other, but with the gargoyle, yeah. which is now currently out of commission in the labyrinth. Mm -hmm. Just became a different type of gargoyle. You suffered some injuries. Yeah. And I believe that you have already made your rouse checks for healing. Yes. Eva, you begin at no damage. Correct. But you are at hunger four. Yes. I should remind you that if you reach hunger five, <clears throat> any failed rouse check sends you instantly into frenzy. Yep. Mm -hmm. Jasper? Yeah. You made your rouse checks and you are also fully healed. Fully. No damage. You are sitting at hunger three. I am. It's a familiar place for you. It's usually where I sit. You're at home. <laughs> uh, Annabelle is at hunger one. X is at hunger one. Nelly is at hunger one. Unless you started the party. No, hunger one. <laughs> and Baron Victor Temple at hunger one. It's been a busy week. What better way to relieve the tension and blow off some steam than a good party? We find ourselves tonight at the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel. Historic, storied, and almost certainly very haunted. In its early years, the hotel played host to countless icons of the silver screen. Charlie Chaplin, Marilyn Monroe, Errol Flynn, Clark Gable, Carol Lombard, and so many others. It's served as inspiration for filmmakers and creatives who have set their movies in this storybook backdrop. The arched doorways, stone columns, and exquisitely paneled ceilings imbue its historic lobby with the warmth and romance of the Spanish colonial revival style, punctuated with deep pools of welcoming or dangerous shadow. Next to the lobby, we find the garden, which is nearly 2,000 square feet of palm trees, flower beds, fire pits, stone walkways weaving in and out of the secluded conversational areas, and many built-in bars. The garden leads to the famous and enormous Tropicana Pool, the place to party in the neighborhood. Now, tonight, pool has been half covered in an ingenious set of stone tiles decorated to the hostess's taste. It doubles as the dance floor right on top of the water, leaving half the pool and its beautiful aqua light to play against the walls and palm trees of the courtyard. Uh, but the physical accoutrements of this building are really only half the equation. The concierge team is dedicated to ensuring that no guest tonight is ever faced with an unpleasant or unsatisfying experience throughout their stay, and that they should never be presented with a denial of comfort or pleasure, whether they are living or undead. So it is here we find the private party worthy of the most legendary and luxurious ever to be seen in Hollywood. The pool area is decorated in the signature colors of the evening, black and gold. The bars are open. The private cabanas on either side of the pool are already filling up with guests, both kindred and kind. You'll be spotting some familiar faces tonight as you weave through the party goers. And there's a live band playing at the far end of the pool, the 14 Carats the world famous jazz pop cover band. What is the first song that they're covering tonight, Nellie? 
Raspberry Beret by Prince. Amazing. How appropriate. Excellent. So this is where we begin. Now, I believe there's a red carpet arrival for guests. Yes. Is that the case? Yes. OK. Who's first? <laughs> How do you arrive, Baron Temple? I do pull up in the limo. And uh, I have Campbell and three of my security people get out and stand around like, you know. Someone important has arrived. Because someone important has. <laughs> That's and right. No pushing, no pushing. I, Everybody stand back. They make a big deal out of I get out live streaming. I'm like, crowd everybody. surges forward. You are recognized instantly. And I turn so I get the crowd behind me too. Like uh, everybody's uh, jumping up and down yeah. to be in the stream. Over here, over <laughs> I told here, you, Hollywood. Yeah, look over here, Baron. Nelly G taking over. We're here. Yeah. All right. Represent everybody. Hey. Ah. Where's Baby B? Oh, she's gonna be here. She's gonna be here soon. Bring out Special K. Does you know her album's dropping in like a month? I promise. It's gonna be the new hotness. Yes. All right. Does Special K know that? <laughs> Doesn't matter. Auto, auto tune works wonders. If I need to make a note. Did, do oh do mm. make a note. It's going to happen. Special K. Hundred percent. Yes. Uh, it's gonna be interesting. I'm like Nelly G, y'all. Thorn taking over. 2020. Double deuces. And then I head in. And then you head in. <laughs> <laughs> the hotel security team has done an excellent job of cordoning off the entrances and exits. No one is getting in here tonight without their permission. I tell Campbell, stay with me. Yes, sir. But the other men and women we brought with us, they're at the disposal, like coordinate with Lavender. Do whatever you're asked to do to keep everything cool. Sir, um, you know, I wasn't aware that we had signed Miss Kyoko to a contract. Is that, did I miss something? I think you just found out when everyone else did. I see. 4D chess, Campbell, 4D chess. Mm -hmm. I mean, that told you, six months, the country thing. I meant that. I would not lie to you. All right, I, I got it. We just have to live. Let's do it, man. Campbell gives the appearance of someone who is long suffering. <laughs> <laughs> He's paid well. Very true, and great <laughs> medical plan. Yeah, exactly. You can, have, you can have a vacation after the country thing. Sure. You are, you sweep into the lobby with your security team, and that's where you find many of the uh, minor celebrities who have been allowed to attend tonight. Mid-level studio executives, wannabe stars, press, including your old friend, Paul. You remember Paul? Uh, does Paul, Paul remember Sutton, me? Yeah. The <laughs> muckraker. As long as I do not see Nelly in the room, I activate awe. Awe makes you more appealing, noticeable, and attractive. I just, I don't want to take any attention from her. But if I don't see her, I'm like, I will she take all She doesn't it. appear to be in the yeah. lobby. Right. Mm -hmm. You're instantly offered champagne, cocktails, and no, I, of other refreshments. I don't partake no, when no, I'm working. No, 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 thank no. you. Yeah. Uh, you're welcomed. Uh, you are given a, uh, uh, what is the guest souvenir of the night? Uh, ooh, um, extorted jewelry from, from Thorne's collection. Mm -hmm. Ooh, the ring. It's nice. Very nice. It's a, it's a special edition. Thorne will be releasing these later. Yes. And you are, <laughs> you are advised that, uh, Miss G is at the pool. Who's next? I head towards the pool. I would like to be next. <laughs> How do you arrive? Well, here's the thing is that I normally- Lime scooter, isn't it? Right, mm. it's the scooter. <laughs> is that I, when walking the boulevard my whole life, I never really got this far into the Roosevelt, but I'm very excited by the red carpet. <laughs> so uh, I show up uh, with uh, my invitation, which was just like a paper invitation, uh, with a list of things to wear and not to wear. And one of the things on there was dress pants. And so I'm wearing a full uh, gold gown with pants on underneath, uh, and then a jacket with a scarf, nice hat. It looked like somebody helped me put this outfit together. And also X looks like he has showered for the first time ever. <laughs> Let me be sure I understand. You are wearing a dress and pants. Dress pants. Because the invitation, <laughs> dress pants. Yeah. <laughs> And I look great. The reaction, <laughs> the reaction to your ensemble is exactly what you hoped it yes. would be. 
That's there right. I am there. auditioning for Thorn. I am the new model, uh, as you can see. That generates a surge of interest from the uh, fashion journalists in the crowd. They want to know all about it. it. You know what? It's a mystery. I won't tell you my name, but I'll give you my image for free. <laughs> Go ahead, take it in. Thank you, thank you. There's thank a you. lot of frantic Googling to try to figure out who the hell you are. Keep looking, and then I'll head in. <laughs> yeah. Mystery model makes merry at gala. You know it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll, uh, once I'm in, though, I need to find some friends because I need to. I, I don't see anybody that I really recognize, and I don't really recognize celebrities. Once you're into the lobby, uh, some <clears throat> gifts are pressed into your hands, some some custom jewelry from Thor. I put it on instantly. You're offered drinks, <laughs> champagne. Uh, a, a dozen people surround you with questions about who you are, commenting on your scarf, your hat, your ensemble, right. asking you for fashion tips, wondering if you're available next Friday for a party. You, you know would what? You, you're going to have to talk to people. Would you consider modeling swimwear? Yes. Yeah, I'm very excited about modeling swimwear. They want to know all about your earring. Too. Yeah, 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 yeah. <gasps> this is um, a, a Thorn original. There's a lot of cameras really close. And then I, I start doing this and then sort of mm -hmm. turn away. And I'm going to make my way towards maybe one of the bars or just away from this crowd. Away from I'm this done. crowd. As far away from this crowd on this floor as you can get. Yeah. Okay. If I see that the dance floor over the pool, that's cool. So you're headed out to the pool area, yeah. which is where the prep party proper is. Great. Mm -hmm. I'll head there. A voice in your ear. Great. That's just great. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I think I'm going to head to the pool. Are there any public records of you that I need to erase? I don't know. Tell me now. I can't know. I don't know. I don't know. I can't work miracles. OK, well, then it's fine. I'm a model. It's fine. You're a model now. I'm a model. This is, this is off to a great start. OK, all right. Go, go find Victor. I'll find him. I'll find him. Who's next? I think that's us. Now, are you arriving publicly in the front entrance by the red carpet, or are you going to opt for a more surreptitious arrival? I think a more surreptitious arrival yes. is better. Is there another entrance we could use? Nellie? Um, I would have given an invitation to uh, to Jasper here that actually had a handwritten note saying you can use the, the basement levels to get in. Great. I'll we'll go through there. Mm -hmm. You'll go through the basement level. Yeah. There is a security guard solo, and apparently he has been expecting someone to be using this entrance. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Uh, <laughs> you know, when she said, I mean. I'm uh, aware. You know what? Um, <clears throat> We all we all hope that you feel better soon, sir. I appreciate that. I really do. It means the world coming from you. Yeah. Um, anyway, uh, straight down this corridor, second set of steps up. You'll come out in the back of the pool area. Right. If if you wanna. I do. Okay. Okay. Thank you. It's really cool of you to show this kind of solidarity with him. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> so brave. No one's going to believe this. No, I don't believe it either. I so head down the hall. You follow those instructions? Yeah. Security guards uh, looking behind you and. <sighs> snapping some photos. Did I notice it? Yes. I turn around and go, y you know. He tries to hide the phone. I, I understand. I really do. But I really appreciate if you deleted that. Please. I know it's disappointing. I'm generally a disappointment. 50 bucks. Come on, my take home pay isn't. I walk over to him. I go into my jacket pocket. And I pull out my wallet. And I hand him some $50. Money. $50. I 
E lets you watch as he deletes each of the photos from the phone. I do appreciate that. Cool. Does he have a name tag? Uh, yes, it's Raul. Okay, thank you. And I go, I hope you have a exciting rest of your night. And I leave. Do you follow his instructions? I do. Okay, so uh, you do find your way to the back of the pool area where we'll set that scene in just a moment. We're already off to a great start. And that yeah. brings us to Annabelle. I'm already there. I have a room at the hotel and I've been there at the command center. Apparently I was not trusted to prepare myself on my own. So <laughs> I had a lot of help. Thank you. Um, but most of the day I've been spending on the streets, talking to folks, texting, putting the word out. So early this evening, you've been out in the Hollywood neighborhood. Getting the among filter, the right? Among the anarchs, among the kindred of the domain, those who once were followers or supporters, or maybe enemies of bear neighbors, and are now under the leadership of Nellie G. And what you found depends on three die rolls that we're about to make. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, <laughs> Annabelle, you are very well versed in the rhetoric of revolution and politics. So, I'd like you to make, let's make it intelligence and politics. Three rolls, please. I have academics, politics, I think. Okay, you can use yeah. intelligence and politics, wits and streetwise, if you want to, or intelligence and academics. Okay. Three. First roll is three. Mm -hmm. Okay, next roll. Two. And finally. Three. That's a total of eight successes. Mm -hmm. Okay. you are able to identify the general mood of the kindred of Hollywood towards this situation. Generally, they're uncertain, apprehensive. Many of them didn't like Abrams because let's face it, he could be an asshole, but he was stable leadership. He kept the peace and he was generous. So they're a little concerned about the sudden change. It's not that they dislike Nellie G or disrespect her, but any rapid change like this could bring trouble, especially when there's tension in the city among the undead like this. You get the impression that the vast majority of them, however, are willing, especially when you begin talking about your experiences with Nellie, to give her a chance, to let her prove that she can fill these shoes and maintain stability and success for the kindred of Hollywood. You only encounter a couple of kindred who seem to absolutely not accept this situation. And you're a little worried that they may go out of their way to express their dissatisfaction. You make a mental note of their names, their descriptions, and the part of the neighborhood you found them in probably didn't get everybody. It's a big neighborhood, probably a lot more kindred here. You're going off the notes that Nellie gave you that she got from Abrams, but you feel you've probably maybe hit half. It's exhausting, There's frankly. Half not, it's not enough. Uh, I have some amazing stories to tell and even more amazing rumors that can travel 
in the underground. Do you want to plant some seeds? <laughs> yeah. What rumors do you want to plant? Nothing but the truth. Nothing but the truth. Are, you, are we sure about that? Well, <laughs> you know, I mean, the truth is, is as uh, Annabelle tells it, you know, about all of the amazing things that Miss Nellie G has done for mm -hmm. peace in the valley and how much Abrams trusted her of their time together. And of course, I won't go into details about their covert missions together, but, you know, so much of Abrams' success very much hinged on Nellie G behind the scenes. You hear some rumors in return. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah, kindred half opinions. <laughs> you hear that Nellie G is actually a Tremere. She's not a Toreador at all. Some kindred seem absolutely convinced of this. Oh no, <laughs> have you seen the way she dresses? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> have you seen the way she's... <laughs> no, no, definitely that one's full Toreador. Some of them but think that she, she was secretly the child of Baron Abrams and that's how she got the barony. Oh, no, no, it's not what I heard is, would that be weird? Is that is that a weird sort of line of ascension thing? No, not necessarily, but that kind of favoritism doesn't sit well with the Anarchs. No, Nelogy earned everything. They have been going on missions together for far longer than most of us have been around. A lot of them want to know if it's true she killed Chaz. Is it really true? Who's asking? Because <laughs> <laughs> from what I heard, the bastard had it coming. I think that is pretty much generally the accepted <laughs> point of view. I mean, I can neither confirm mm -hmm. nor deny, but... There is one rumor that says if you kiss Nellie G, Bloodbound to her forever. Uh, so don't kiss her. Don't do that. <laughs> I'll take my chances. Hey, you know, they're your lips. <laughs> that's, that's what we heard. It's a pretty good night's work. If okay. you have, when you have more opportunity and more time, you can probably. I just want to make sure that everybody's. Everybody knows about the party and that everybody's welcome. Celebrating not just her ascension to baronhood, but all her people. Her people, an interesting phrase. Mm. They kind of like it. You know, they never thought of themselves as somebody's people. So I've been there, I'm prepared. I've done as much double checking as I could Mm -hmm. gotten as much intel to the right people, to the security team. I'm upstairs, just take a moment. And then I go down around the back, bring the motorcycle out, pull up on the red carpet. Baby B! Yes. Over here, over here, no, over here. Look, over here. Uh. One of the paparazzi tries to duck under the security cordon and get the camera up into your face, right under your jawline to try to take maybe a picture up your nose, you're not sure. <laughs> the security guards grab him and haul him back. <sighs> the price of fame. I'm glad that thing that I planted in that guy's mind went off mm. perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> I think we, he gets a cool shot of my foot like on the lens. <laughs> on the Step lens, crushing the camera yeah, lens, the camera smashing the very expensive the piece of equipment. Yeah, yeah. With, like yeah. the heel mm -hmm. spider crap coming out. <sighs> hey, everybody. Good to be here. Thank you all so much for coming. When's your next drop? Uh, you know what? That's all on Victor Temple's schedule. He's got a full release this season and, you know, a lot of time, a lot of time goes into all this, so it's ready when it's ready. Who are you wearing? Oh, a <laughs> thorn, of course. This is an LG original. Who's your date? Uh, I am here stag tonight, you know? Wow, that, that causes a ripple of sensation. Are, you're, who are you seeing? Are you single? Are you married? Uh, you know, what am I not? <laughs> You can see a moment's hesitation as the confused paparazzi try to work out exactly what that means. <laughs> and then the security detail ushers you into the lobby. 
Hey, hey, hey. How are you? Good, how are you? You know, things have been better, uh, but it's good to see you. You're here to party, right? Yeah. We're all here to relax. <laughs> yeah, I'm just here to party. <laughs> you know, just like just like all the other parties that we've gone to as a family. X, who are you talking to? Um, who are you talking to? I, it, it's great to see you, Annabelle. I'm, it's, oh, uh, Annabelle. I have to go. Uh, have you seen Victor? Uh, no, not yet. I know, it's He's weird around. that I'm looking for him, but here I go. <laughs> uh, you okay? Yeah, yeah, it's good to see you. Is he okay? Is he okay? Is he Is ever he okay? okay? <laughs> I mean, we would first have to establish a baseline of okayness yeah. right? Us, and there would be some debate about that. I would tell you that since we're so close, you uh -huh. can tell that I'm hiding something, but I might not necessarily be hiding something from you. Uh -huh. I'm just nervous in general about a secret that I may have. Okay, well that's... It makes sense. <laughs> yeah. I would agree that you know X well enough to be able to discern that just from the conversation. Okay. Well, we can talk later. Okay. Mm -hmm. I would really like that. Yeah. Okay. Annabelle. Find find me whenever. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. We will. Yeah. I will. Cool. Find you. Great. Goodbye. <sighs> so, is it safe to assume that once hellos have been said and once the minor celebrities and uh, lesser status attendees in the lobby have been satisfied, we move to the pool. And you walk through the garden with all those palm trees, avoiding the fire pits, beautiful flower beds that even at this time of year are cultivated and kept beautiful as much for their pleasing scent on the night air as for their visual appeal. Now the pool area, as I mentioned, is centered around, surprisingly enough, a swimming pool. It is half covered by beautiful custom tile work. Nellie G, what design motif did you choose with the tiles? It's a flower pattern, um, petals look like they're just falling. Mm -hmm. And it's in the party colors, black and gold? Yep. Okay. Yes. Uh, the band is in full swing with their pop hit <laughs> jazz covers. I believe it is now toxic. Mm -hmm. The dance floor is full. The drinks are flowing. Kindred are moving freely among the kind. As I mentioned, the cabanas lining either side of the pool are full each one seeming to be its own little private party. Film producers over here, screenwriters over there, actors, musicians, artists, and vampires. You see a few familiar faces weaving in and out of the crowd. Uh, Velvet Velour and Entourage. Casey hmm. and several kindred you don't recognize are with her. Uh, you catch glimpses of Nines Rodriguez here and there as he moves in, looks around with a very pointed stare and then leaves again. Miranda has her own cabana where she's holding court. You spot Lavender, one of Nellie's rose garden. She too, like Nines, moves intently, keeping an eye on things, talking into an earpiece occasionally, and then exiting. Of the Camarilla kindred that you've met, you notice Edison, Toreador. Oh, and that's all. <laughs> None of the ivory tower are visible. Same. Yet. <clears throat> Until I lay eyes on Nelly, I keep all up the entire time. Hmm? Welcome to the party. 
Uh-huh. I'm going to make a beeline for Victor then. Is if he, are you causing like a crowd? I mean, <laughs> when am I not? <laughs> yeah, okay. So yeah, that'll make it easy to find. <laughs> it is difficult for Victor Temple to move anywhere in this group without a throng of people around him. Uh, at a party like this though, uh, considering how exclusive it is, safe to say that there's not a lot of um, fan personing around you. They're mostly people in the business, in the entertainment industry. So they're a little bit more subdued than the crowd outside who would give their left eye teeth just to get into the lobby for a few minutes. So I'm doing this on purpose though, because one of the things I myself am trying to keep an eye out for is the people who aren't reacting. The people that seem conspicuously stoic or conspicuously, you know what I mean? Because I realize all I, it's just kind of a warmth coming from me. So the people that are overtly seem odd, those are the ones I'm trying to clock. Duly noted. Speaking of uniquely odd. Hey! <laughs> Victor! 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 Are you wearing a dress? It's, uh, it's, it's a dress pants. Dress pants! It's a dress pants. You get it! I get it. No, it's, it's, that is, you did exactly what you were asked to do. Thank you very much. That I is, need to talk to you. That is new. That's a first. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can I talk to you uh, in private? Or at least a little more privately. Um, I mean, yeah. Is there, are there any... Well, like- let's ask the hostess. So, first of all, Nelly G, <laughs> where are you in the pool area? Um, I'm in one of the cabanas, just mm-hmm. like all the way in the back. All the way in the back, yeah. the center back cabana. Mm-hmm. So that when you look out the cabana entrance, you can see all the other cabanas yes. and the dance floor <laughs> and the band. Yes, if I if I may add, my cabana is like up on a little more yeah, of a riser so mm-hmm. I could like see a little above better. The, above the eye level of everybody else. Everyone yes. has to look up at your cabana. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you have any special guests in your cabana? Um, no one of noteworthy yet. No one of noteworthy yet. So, minor celebrities or important people? Important uh, film producers. Film producers. They were curious about Abrams. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're very curious about where that investment money is going to flow now. Now that someone else is managing his assets. Mm -hmm. Now, we've established previously that you have your own personal hotel representative near you at all times until yes. you say otherwise. And Correct. That, what's the name of that representative? Colin. Colin. Colin, the hotel representative. Colin's job is to make sure that what you need, you get. And Excellent. mucho pronto. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Well, we come up wherever this back entry is. Um, is it close to where Nelly is sitting? Yes. Okay. I assume she's visible. Oh, she is always visible. There's there's no there's no mistaking which cabana is hers. Okay. <laughs> I make mean, sure there's light, like a lot of Lots light. Lots of light <laughs> shining down onto I'm it. Sparkly. Yeah, yeah. Maybe a lot of flowers. <laughs> I'm also trying to avoid a You didn't realize it was possible to use a bedazzler on a cabana. <laughs> I never thought about it. Baron, may we approach? Oh, of course. Jasper, Eva. Hello. Hi. Heads oh. do turn as you pass by and they wonder what film you're representing. They're not sure what Hollywood immersive experience you're here to promote, but everyone compliments you on the authenticity of your look. Thank you. You're super impressed. I appreciate all of you. Took a lot of work. Would you like a little bit more privacy here? Probably be best for everybody. Wonderful. Colin, can you please escort my fine friends here to the bar and show them the finest champagne we have? Champagne, absolutely, right this way. My name's Colin, I'm here to see to your every whim, your every need, whatever you need, whatever you want. Thank you. Nelly's. Yeah. Wow, amazing, amazing. Right, you'd never know it was fake. Yeah, incredible, I mean. You know, when I was a kid, I used to want to be an actor too. It's a life. Yeah, yeah, right this way. Is it okay? I'm a bit um, peckish. Perched, understood. Mm-hmm. Um, Whatever you need, Eva. Okay. Jasper, real quick. I hand him a black card, which is a key key card to the hotel. Black card? Whatever you need. 
Thanks. It gives you access to almost all the doors here. Okay. I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. As we're being escorted to Champagne, I want to keep an eye out if there's anyone having a particularly good time. They seem to have <laughs> perhaps imbibed on multiple substances. <laughs> Who could say? If any of them stand out to me, I will sidle up. You have become, over time, adept at spotting mortals who mm -hmm. attract your attention because they might give you what you want and what you crave. Let's make it um, wits and awareness. Before tonight's over, Nelly, I do need to have a talk with you about something. Fantastic. Three successes. Three successes. Well, Rafe is a filmmaker and he's in the planning stages of his next production. So right now he's scouting out potential locations that have a good presence on screen, but don't detract too much from the drama between the actors, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. And he is way out there. Great. Um, <clears throat> you wouldn't be interested in uh, having, um, I've brought some Treats, you could say. Manipulation and persuasion. <sighs> <laughs> well, his dice pool is nothing to write home about, so. Mm -hmm. That looks about the same size. Okay. Two successes. He has no successes. Fantastic. I am so <clears throat> into treats, it will blow your mind. Just like my next picture. I. I can't wait to tell you all about it. I'm very excited. Wonderful. You know, you would be perfect for it. That's what I like to hear. Yeah, yeah, with that that pallor, that sort of undertakerly look. I'm so glad you noticed. Yeah, yeah, let's do this. I'll pull out a uh, tab LSD. Ooh, candy. Yeah. He opens his mouth and sticks out his tongue. Place. Mm. You know how to party. Yeah. Do you know the Do you know the G? Yes, yes. you do. Mm. Yeah, she's taking the taking over the old man's uh, stuff. You think she'd be up for uh, for financing my uh, flick? Oh. Hey, this is good. Maybe so. I'll let her know. He's no longer paying any attention to you. He's just looking at the colors of the pool that are reflected on the walls. She'll just lean in and just bite his neck. Help herself? <laughs> yes. Is it safe to assume that you are positioning yourself to I'm screen block, Eva from I'm blocking as much easy as view? Yeah. Between you and the large palm tree or near where you found yourself, there seems to be adequate cover. Fangs yes. meet skin. The drug laced warmth rushes into your mouth. Finally, finally, quenching that horrible thirst that you've been feeling since you left the lab. How much of your hunger do you satisfy? Three. Three. Okay, so take three hunger dice out of the pool. And Rafe is going to curl up under this palm tree and have beautiful acid dreams mm -hmm. for the rest of the party. Yes. I'll get you some orange juice. Rafe can't hear you. You feel better? Yeah. <clears throat> I go out to where Nelly is in the cabanas. Okay. 
You look so good. I curtsy. <laughs> oh, don't, don't do that. Come here. Come, come, come. Um, these film producers, uh, you guys, we'll find out stuff later. I don't want to talk about that right now. Sure, no problem. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll be back, Miss Griffith. Great, thanks. Yeah. Bye. Hey, you know, I got an idea for a theme park, too, that I could never interest <laughs> Abrams in. I'm not Maybe interested we... in a theme park. Really? Yeah. But we're going to call it Fashion Land. No. <laughs> wow, okay. You're lost. Fashion is an art, not a theme park. Out. Art, theme park. Oh, yeah. We'll see. We'll catch you later. Let's go get some champagne. You know, Disneyland is art. How you doing? Great. Mm. How's your night? Is it, it's going. Okay. It's going. It's a lot of hosting. It's a lot of talking. You're good at that. You do a lot of it. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> That's how to go today. People are uneasy. I think. You know, I did my best to put the word out. I talked about half of the list, and it's going to be an uphill fight. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay. I, I think just keep doing what you're doing and believe in yourself and you are something worth believing in. Thanks. And you gotta remind them of that. So, you know, make sure to talk to everybody. Okay. Nobody is Tabby. not worth talking to tonight. Got it. And stay safe, okay? I will do my best. And I give her a full 360 so she can actually see that I have my set on me. Ah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, of course. You've been doing this for longer than I have. Um, it's I'm just still nice to be cared about. Of course. <laughs> we, we all care about you. Yeah. What would you like to drink? There's so much out here. Oh, I'm good. I drank earlier. I'm good. Hi. Keep it classy though. Keep it classy if you need to like drink some more. Oh. Oh, I am madam. I will have you know that I am the classiest bitch. Oh good, because I heard what happened in Victor's hotel. Or sorry, club. That's like someone's boyfriend? Yeah. That's that was, like the that, least that was loud. The, the least like weird thing that I've gotten up to around there. Great. Great. I hand her a black card as well. Black cards, mm -hmm. Annabelle. I didn't give this to you earlier when you got your room, mm -hmm. but this is hotel access. Full access, yeah. great. Um, I'm just gonna go run around and check on everybody else, okay? Okay. See ya. Love ya. Love you too. As you roll away, where are you at this point, Victor? Uh, X was trying to pull me into one of the cabanas. Yep, we took over <laughs> one of the cabanas. It it definitely now, shoot out some it is now your cabana, and the mortals who are occupying it are delighted to leave your presence. <laughs> <laughs> Victor, okay. First of all, thank you uh, for all the stuff that you've been doing for us. It's, it, we really appreciate it. Um, uh, it's nice to have an apartment. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, you were like, hey, I need money for a thing, and yeah, I mean, but everything's, you, you're good? Well, yeah, every, uh, you know. Mm. You got out of Santa Monica, though. Well, yes, mostly. Um, it's complicated. Well, because I <clears throat> saw our mutual friend, but I didn't bring you up at all. Good, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. If we could keep that on the on the down low. Yeah. That would be great. Yeah. Um, I do have one thing to say though. Uh, can you remind me when I spotted Edison? What does he look like tonight? Oh, what does Edison look like tonight? Edison is always impeccably dressed. He prefers modern clothing that evoke a retro look, sort of a neo-vintage that echoes old Hollywood of the 30s and the 40s. Mm. He's always got great hair slicked straight back from his forehead. He's handsome like he should be an old film star. Got it. The guy in the, in the vest, the double-breasted, and the, and the hair, and the teeth, and the good ones? Garrick? No, the other one. Uh... I know who you're talking about. This is the other one. Oh, that, the Edison guy, yes, the like yes, retro, yes. like hipster dude. Okay, so yeah. um, I have encountered him previously, uh, and he may be an informant of sorts, but regardless, he I was- I mean, he's Cam, yeah. But he's, he was uh, giving away blood in a thermos, vitae in a thermos. What do you mean giving away? Or getting vitae. information for it. That's a thing? Like, who do you, who wants blood in exchange for information? Someone else. 
Um, great. Thank X. You. <laughs> Not yet. Okay. Wait a minute. I know. I know. Are you One sure? One more thing. Yeah. Victor needs to know something. Yeah. Is there anyone else who can hear you, X? I don't know. Is there anyone else that can hear us, Victor? And I don't. I don't think so. I mean, there's. I'm sure there's like six knots for Atu here, but besides that, no, I don't think so. Well, I guess that's just standard. I, I literally like make a dramatic shift for his sake. I'm like, I don't feel anyone though. X. <laughs> I think it's just us. He needs to know something. I've heard. He needs to know that the Camarilla doesn't consider the Thin Bloods kindred. They're not part of the truce. Hang on, hang on, as far hang on. as they're concerned. I know. That's just, I don't, what do you mean <clears throat> Vitae and a thermos in exchange for secrets? Like Listen, some things are going down uh, within the, the smaller communities of Kindred. Uh -huh. uh, you know that whole prophecy thing, um, Gehenna, end of the world, blah, blah, blah. blah. Yeah, right. It involves the Duskborn, the, the, the Thin Bloods, well, you right? You will know them by the end time. Yeah, right. It's like very ominous. You know it's that like really well. Metal, actually, no, I, I, I was re, re, reviewing it recently. Yeah. Uh -huh. Anyway, uh, something has been happening. Like they, some of them have, have gone missing, maybe. But but we're trying to like help them out, and it seems like I don't know. Something is up with that community. Who's we? Next. Me. Be careful. Me with uh, all of my thoughts. <sighs> you know we. It's. We contain multitudes, right? Also, yeah. this is a bit off script. Sorry for this. Uh, have you noticed anything about fortune telling shops in the valley? I mean, there was like some dude set up outside of like one of my places. Like, I mean, I, I know some people that run like an occult bookstore. Like, is, I mean, are you? No, I'm fine. Oh, are you, I mean, are you are you into that? Because like, you know, because like I am too. Like people don't think I am, but it's like, no, I like, I'm super into it. What? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wait, no, I mean, you have like visions and stuff. And yeah, see, yeah, okay, yeah. Now, here's the thing, Net X, I realize you and I have had a complicated relationship and I didn't want you to feel like I was like, tell me the future, Magic Monkey. But I mean, if you have something that you'd like to share. Victor, I'm not here for your flocks and awesome, not heal pillification. See that, exactly. I didn't want that exact reaction. <laughs> That's the perception of something is worthless. It's one of the longest words in the dictionary. Excuse me, I'm already paying you handsomely for reasons I don't even know. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. But... I can tell you through mystical fortune telling means, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I may have come into some information that might be valuable or not. Like Edison gives away thermoses of blood for an indeterminate purpose to an indeterminate people. Yes. Great, sure, lay on some more of that. Well, uh, there are a few other people that are here that are very interesting. I mean, ev everyone's here. If anybody has any thoughts about what we should um, share it with each other. I'm all ears. X, turn your head to the uh, right again. Look out of the cabana. No. Uh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> One more time. Yeah. <clears throat> you see? Do you see the? Do you see the couple who just came in? Yeah. The uh, the the handsome guy with the black beard uh -huh. looks like he's you know singed it a little or something. Mm -hmm. Wearing the the cool purple suit. Yeah. Yeah. He's with handsome the guy. Purple he's suit. with the the woman all in black with the cool boots. Hold on. Hey. I'm getting a vision. Uh, They're Tremere. They're Tremere. Those people are Tremere. The one in the boots and the purple suit. I mean, the ones dressed like Batman villains? Yeah. I know do, they're Tremere. Do I know them? Or have I even seen them? You've never seen them before. I'm like, okay, they're true. I mean, but you know, we- They're Camarilla. They're, ca they're Cam. <clears throat> well, but I mean, they were invited. Like Nelly like, did the like diplomacy thing. Right. Like, I mean, they're allowed to be here. Sure, 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 sure. But isn't that valuable information? It, no, I mean, they look like fantasy sorcerer people. Like I would have just made them as like Camarilla Tremere. Like, here's the thing. Here's how I, I figured out. I'm like, are you wearing something inappropriate? Is he always this ungrateful for yes. information? Yeah, you're probably a Camarilla Tremere. Okay. I can't believe you hang out with this guy. I don't. I can't I, believe you take orders from this guy. I don't, I don't, Victor. You don't what? what I you don't believe you. I don't believe you and you're, I'm through. And I'll just leave the cabana. You <laughs> exit the cabana. I'm like, what even the, just, I'm, I, I, he flounces out. Flounces? <laughs> Dramatically exits. Dramatically exits. Yeah. Um, we run into each other. Oh, hey. Hey, okay. <clears throat> no. You find I'm, Victor? Yeah, I found Victor. I, I do care, like, right, but I'm like, I don't even, what, I, I don't Oh, care. hey. Just, hi, hey, have Good you seen so Jasper? I have not. Are they Jasper's around? Jasper's here? Yeah. 
from your vantage point yeah. by the palm I, tree I, where uh, yeah, where assuming, Rafe is uh, slumbering. I'm assuming I'm heading to grab a drink that I will never drink. But you want to look like you're holding something. Yeah. Champagne? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a... Yes, yeah, so you can spot them. Right. Okay. I should say hi. We should say hi. Okay. Uh, he's here. I just want everybody to have a little powwow so we can decide the thing is okay, right? We get to decide? <sighs> no, I mean, it's well, like 10 minutes and like nothing's on fire yet. Yeah. Uh, Why would you say that? Our thing's not okay. <laughs> Hello. Oh, Nelly, I I'd need to like talk to you. To note that I have heightened senses of, and I heard that comment that Victor said. <laughs> Are you sure you want heightened senses up and all this noise and light? For now, it's okay, but. Yeah, just for, for right now, just as a quick, like, cursory kind of like check in on, all on things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wanted to, like, listen in on that moment. Listen, if I showed up wearing anything other than this, I would have been killed. You do look amazing. No, okay, you so. You like, dressed up to match. Here's the thing. No, Thank okay. You. I think you missed the note on black and gold, but that's all right. This no works. Told us. No, no, this works. This is a look. It's I'm for this. It. It's you don't look like a Labradoodle. I'm for it. <laughs> you don't get to say anything. Look at them. I said he looks look good. At them. Those are the words I said. I <gasps> text the group chat, come to my cabana ASAP. Oh, okay. Gotta oh go. Uh, Mom, yeah. everyone wants to talk. And awesome. then like another one, like right now. On the way to the cabana. Okay, I. You're stopped by none other than Lydia from the Mystic Circle. Hey! Oh, hello! Wow, it's so good to see you again. It's nice to see uh, you. Too. Remember me? I do. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm Lydia Metz. We we met at the Mystic Circle. Yeah, Kyoko introduced us. Wow, I had no idea Gorefest magazine would be repping here tonight. Yeah, you know, I would have worn something completely different. I mean, I went for the theme. It's a little, you know, understated, but we're here. Fantastic. Um, how um, you know how I expressed interest in? Oh, I'm working I mean, on it. Uh, I've been uh, I've been uh, brushing up my Instagram, making it, uh, all deleting good. all those old pics. I mean, all just ignore pics. those old old shots. So I'm ready whenever you are. Okay, I mean, as soon as ah, I have a thing, I will let you know. Check you out. <laughs> Whoa. Would you like me to... Look at your eye. Look at your eyes. Hey. hey. Actually, just real quick, could you do me one favor? Forget you saw them. Yeah, I gotta get a drink. Yeah, so, um, no, it's and I, I like gently like kind of rotate her. I'm like, mm -hmm. look who that is. It's that dude from that thing. Oh, I love that thing. Wow. I'm gonna go talk to him right now. And then I do kind of try and interpose myself. I wonder if he can give me a part. Her and, and them as we kind of like keep walking. Continuing on, on to Cabana. We yeah. do. We're gonna Although, like, on my way uh, past the bar, I snag a uh, bottle of beer. Bottle of beer. Something upscale? Sure, why not? <laughs> I mean, I feel like there's no PBR at this party. Dang it. <laughs> Probably not. Would so I it's have likely to be craft IPAs and... Would I at all, or her, I don't know, us, happen to have clocked the Camarillo friends? Mm. Wits and awareness. Mm -hmm. Is there some sort of penalty to that? <laughs> Might be a bonus. Yeah, take 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 out three dice. Three successes. Three successes. Two. Eva. Two. Eva, you're busy looking at things only you can see. Okay. Colors that talk back. <laughs> sounds that have you know texture. A friendly palm tree. Jasper. Yeah. You clock Bosch strolling along the side of the pool with a mm -hmm. glass of champagne that he's not drinking either. Mm -hmm. He's moving a little stiffly as though maybe he was in pain from an injury. Mm -hmm. He's wearing a uh, tailored dark purple suit. Not the bright joker kind of thing. Right. Something a little bit more understated. Mm, more on the indigo side. Mm. Does he happen to see me? If he has seen you, he's not giving any indication of it. Great. I'm going to head to Nelly's tent, but I'm going to keep an eye on them. Going to keep an eye on the Tremere. Yeah. As we're walking in, I lean over to Jasper while we're walking, and I'm like, do you have a ghost killing knife on you? Mm, no, why? Because the Roosevelt's super fucking haunted, man. Everybody I'm sure. Yeah, but it's it like, is? Reg it's, it's, like regular haunted. 
oh, I heard about Houdini's wife doing the seances here and stuff, but I thought that was a load of garbage. No. But then I remembered just now that ghosts actually exist. Oh, <laughs> boy. Wish I brought my coat. Yeah, right. <clears throat> Look, okay, no, it's like, yeah, okay, regular haunted, not like we're going to kill you haunted like before. I'm sure we'll be fine. Yeah, oh. great. No, fine. Cool. All right. As there we, are ghosts here. It's, yes, there are. You. Hey. All right. No, but you look a little. Hi. Hello, Ava and Jasper. It's good to see both of you here. Yes, it is so nice to see you. I'm so glad you are here. Yeah. Hi, By the way, I have something I wanted to talk to you about. Probably not. Not for me. I'm not important. You don't need to. Have... I've known you longer than I've known anybody. I know. It's important. How does he look, X? X? How does X look? X, listen to me. I want to know how oh. Jasper looks. <laughs> he looks fine. I he, can't believe I work for you. He look, You don't. I do. How does he look? Um, you look nice tonight. Thank you, X. That's very kind of you. I Did like you. All. You did miss the memo about black and gold, though, and I want to, to be known that I observed the theme, and you did not. X, is she with him? Yes. How does she look? I like your outfit very much, and I know I missed the memo. Thank you. Hey, bud. How, Hi. How, are you okay? I'm so good. I like your scarf. Thank you. You're the first person to say anything. It's so nice. Do you want to dance later? Yes, very much so. I require this, actually, yes. Although I'm going to, like, de- break off from them and head towards Nelly. Yeah, we're, sure we're walking yeah, we're gonna go <laughs> towards Nelly. So you arrive at Nelly's cabana. Now, Nelly, are you having anyone keep other people out of your cabana? Oh, yes. Okay, otherwise, it would be a steady stream of well-wishers, gifts, presents, flowers, uh, requests for financing, suggestions about what to do with your empire. So, but no one else is permitted except your associates. Mm-hmm. Is that right? Correct. Okay. You rang. <gasps> Baron Griffith. No. Is that what we're going with? Baron Griffith? It's, Baron G? Baron. 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 Baron Griffith. Baron Griffith. Baron. Yeah. Ax- Bar- Baron. Baron Griffith. She's a Baron. <clears throat> Whoa, Nelly. <laughs> it's good to see you. It's been this long oh, and you finally cracked that joke. I'm we're proud just, of you. Well, just, I just, it's nice to say your name out loud. We're there now. Here we are. I didn't know this is where we were going. This is where we are. Okay. Great. How are you doing? I'm good. He's known for days. This is all, no, the whoa Nelly thing. Oh. It's, oh. You know, because I told you, of course I know. But you, the, I, how's, I thought it was weird you were surprised. It's great. This. It's interesting. It's X, different. there's too many voices. I, I'm not sure who's here. You're not helping. Uh, this is uh, Jasper. Who? Mm-hmm. I didn't get a chance when you guys walked up. You look fantastic. I appreciate that, thank you. Who dressed you? I dressed me. You have this in your closet? I do have other clothing. Yeah, he had, like dope stuff. Remember, that's why I kept asking him to like, I wanted more stuff out of his club. That's great. It looks so good. I've Thank seen you. it. Eva, you look beautiful. Thank you. Are you Figures. feeling better now? So much better. Thank you. Good. She, good. Yeah. I'm glad. She's blazed. I look at her pupils. <laughs> <laughs> I am the designated walker. Oh, How are you doing, girl? You doing okay. good? I'm so good. Okay. Awesome. Careful with the clothes, right. yes. Super mm. Don't mess up the suits. It's Super so nice. Dyed. We do need to have a chat later. I have some things to show you. Okay. Um, and I like, it's a trick that Edison taught me, but out of like this area, I flip out um, three more cards. Ooh, from nowhere, she produces three black cards. That's some gambit oh. stuff. Can you teach me to do that? that? Can you like throw them and they'll explode? Mm-hmm. Um, I was working on that, but no, hmm. no. So this one's for you. Access to the hotel. I lean over to Campbell. Sir. And I hand it to him. I'm like, get one of our gunmen on the roof, please. Right away. Do you, is there trouble? I mean, just in case. I'm on it. You don't wait till something goes wrong to I'm, put the sniper there. I'm gone, I'm gone. Should it yeah. be lavender? Should it be oh, lavender? Well, lavender works for the Baron. Yeah. <laughs> Whoever we've got, that's a pretty crack shot though. No one's as good as she is. Well, we gotta make do with what we got, don't we, Campbell? Yes, sir. Excellent. This is Campbell excuses ready? himself with the card. Thank you. Hey, Eva, watch this. What? Which X? What is she handing out? Hey, hey <laughs> do I get a card? A black card black that you're giving? Do you get a very special card. This is oh, yes. His is a black card with a gold emblem that actually records every door that he goes into. <laughs> you try it. It's fair. We already knew she knew how to fly. Does it have an X on it? 
in gold? Yes. <laughs> it's a special X, X card. card. Yeah. This one's very special. It's amazing. What does it do? It lets you into doors. You just have to figure out which Anywhere? ones. Oh, okay. It's a game. Okay, I'm in. Just for you. Thank you. Also, congratulations. Thanks. It's, it's a big deal, and I know this stuff means things to you. Yeah. You look great. You you followed the dress. Thank you. But I'll do a twirl. <laughs> I have a really big question. Yeah. Why the dress and the pants? Dress pants. <laughs> the thing. No, I'm with him on this one. Oh, you yeah. said dress pants. I mean, it just it's excellent. It no. looks cool. Oh, it's, that is just never going to get old. I okay. just I hate having to back X on these things, but no, I got to back X on uh, this thing. Honestly, you know? Thank you. I don't say this very often, X, but that is actually funny. <laughs> I wasn't trying to be funny. Just no. go with it. No, okay, no, thank it's you. Weird. It's a good thing, X, because you're not. Okay, okay. Uh, all right, listen, uh, I'm in control, okay? Everyone needs to understand something right now, all right? Okay. You're only here. Calm okay. down, hey. calm down, X, just yes. calm down. Hey, yeah, okay. calm down, it's listen, okay. Listen, we're here for Nelly. That's why we're, we're all here for Nelly, for Baron Nelly. Nelly. All right, and speaking of which, I'd like to do a little check-in. So I got the feel on the streets, people are uneasy. There are a couple of uh, not so friendly characters. Security has their names, but anybody else have anything they need to check in with? Any concerns for tonight? I mean, any danger points? There's Cam here, two Tremere and a Toreador. Yes. Uh, the, mm -hmm. I know our- I point. Cut his friends. Oh no. I'm like, that guy. We know them. That pretty lady that's with him and Edison, who's a pretty guy also. I mean, in a weird kind of hipster way. The two of them. I heard him. It's the two I of them. I didn't mean to. I know you didn't. The two of them are um, part of uh, Katya's group. Hmm. Who? Uh, they're Tremere. Hey, the Tremere Primaging, in fact. Here? Oh. oh. Well, she's not here, but apparently some of her people are. I made her acquaintance earlier tonight. Interesting. Wait, what? I did. The new primogen who was replacing Garrick. Head oh. Tremere. Head Tremere for the camp. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What she's do we know about her? Also, my sire. There's that. Ooh. I wasn't just going to bust that out, but yeah, that's that. Oh. Is, uh, okay. That. X, even I didn't know that. Okay. Great. Yeah. Are I you? didn't know that. Find out more. It's, uh, uh, it's fine. We uh, we took care of the problem okay. in underground. That's done. We were helped by those two individuals and the primogen, awkwardly enough. She helped you? Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. So we like them. Well, I guess while we're... We're She's confused nice. by them. Right. Are they going to pose a problem tonight? Not that I know of. The truce appears to be holding. Although, speaking of, uh, Therese stopped by earlier. What? Here? Did. No, 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 no. She Shit. stopped by the Maharani. Um, For why? She said she was supposed to, she was going to pop through here tonight. Remember, Jeanette obviously was here last night. Did you, is that why we're out here and not in there? Yes. What? Uh, Therese is Therese. She's got some questions about this, but I told her that I've got your back. We've all got your back. Appreciate it. Yes, Jeanette was here, and she spray painted blue hearts in my ballroom. In like a tasteful way, let it do made you it better. call spray paint tasteful in a 1927 hotel? Well, yeah, it could be. No, it was fixed. Okay. It was fine. All right. it, it all ended up fine. They redid everything in time. In yes. theme, everything's copacetic. Great, but yeah. Just want to make it known, Therese and Fiona, apparently not convinced. Again, I wouldn't be me if I didn't make my obligatory I could give a shit, but it is what it is. Convinced at your barrenness? At her ability to be barren. Mm. It's okay. It's okay. I can work on that. Show them who you are. Mm -hmm. Uh, real quick. Girl, I want you to have a great time tonight. Well, she's having a great time but, tonight. Well, yeah, but considering we're on high alert here, is there anything I can, we can, anybody know how this works? I think she's gonna have a good you time. Can, can you drink somebody with coffee in their system or? She'll be fine. Okay. She's been doing this for a long time. Okay, all right, I'll trust you. I think she's less likely to do anything seismic in her current state, so it's probably good. Mm -hmm. 
X. Yes. Yeah, X, yeah. listen uh -huh. to me. Uh -huh. X, dear. <clears throat> dear X. Dear X, listen to me. Mm -hmm. You need to find out more about this, this Katya. It's a name I've heard. There are a lot of different opinions about her in the ivory tower. I haven't heard that that's of his sire. I have heard that she's taken hey, stop, over. Stop, 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 everybody. Mm -hmm. We weren't saying anything. Yeah, no, we're just all looking at you, actually. Tell me about your mom. My mother? Or Ka this person, Katja, your, your sire. I don't know about Katja. Um, Nellie, are you still using heightened senses? No, I've... At the moment, no. Yeah, no. Um, what do you want to know? She's a very capable witch. Capable's in a word. Is she gonna hurt us? I don't think so. It's a confusing she helped situation. Us. She helped us. She mm. helped us with a problem. I think she still loves me. I oh. know she does. So you have a different love interest now because um, you're going back to that person and not with Jasper anymore, is what I'm getting. That's so, a little bit leap. of a leap. Right? So we don't have to worry about this anymore. That, well, I don't think we will what? worry about um, it, actually. Look, my, our situation isn't really what we're talking about right now. What? X, don't tease. <laughs> there is I, something that you need to know also because it directly affects your domain. Okay. There was an incident involving the Magic Castle earlier tonight. I took care of it, but the truce was strained. And you may need to talk to the Tremere soon. Apparently they and Abrams had an understanding. They want to make sure that you and they have an understanding. To be clear, the Camarilla Tremere. Just to be clear. Thank to be clear. you for that. What exactly do I need to know? How did it get strained? That's neither here nor there. Something happened in the valley that kind of affected them. It I'm, was an unfortunate side effect of our removal of the stone. The gargoyle. I see. Yeah. There are a lot of words that are just going to get kind of thrown around here, huh? Yeah, apparently there's gargoyles. They're real. This yeah. one was bad and attacked them. Oh, and he was so big. He was bigger. Um, I just was, keep telling you everything's real. It was a an unfortunate happenstance while in the process of crushing it with a hammer and electrocuting it to death. But oh, that sounds awesome. So this, just to this clarify, mild, though, this yes. is the same gargoyle that Garrick talked about. Am I correct? That'd be yeah. the one. That'd be well, the one that he was very upset about. Uh, I saw a yes, gargoyle but, too. But, by the way, just to clarify something that I think is very interesting. I don't know if you all will, but I do. Garrick did that on his own, mm -hmm. not under orders from anybody. Interesting. Yeah. That was his own personal thing and is part of the reason why he's leaving. I feel like, Annabelle, you'll get this. You remember The Incredibles? None of them know The Incredibles, but you remember The Incredibles? You know, yeah, I remember like, The Incredibles. Like it was when they put all those action stars together in one action movie. Causing that is, that's not. But that's the expense. I mean, it's. Oh. Get to the point. You I'm proud of you, no, though. You knew no, a thing. No, but he knew the wrong thing. He gets no credit. Annabelle, remember how Why do I never syndrome get any credit? was causing the problems that he was solving? Yes. I'm deeply concerned with this. Oh, it was that other Tremere, and I'm here to save you from that bad Tremere. I'm not convinced that this was Garrick was the lone gunman thing is what really happened. She wouldn't lie. Yes, she would. Not to me. Oh. Like, I'm dead? <laughs> I know what can help. Nellie, I was going to do this anyway. I've got a present for you. Oh dear. Please keep your pants I mean, on. I great. He's just wearing a dress anyway, it doesn't matter. But that was present enough. Aw. Uh, and I'm going to activate a vision. Oh, shit. So, <laughs> so you are going to um, use premonition. A premonition? Yes. You will need to make a single rouse check. Resolve, <laughs> resolve an aspect. How did we do? I failed that. You failed. Her voice is in your other ear. X. So many voices. You can't hide from me forever. You, you I don't know. I see you. You are here and you don't know. I'm here after you and you didn't know. I love it when you get hungry, little X. You're such I'm a fine. bad, naughty boy. Why did you just take a 
fight right now. That can be your gift to Nelly. Maybe another time. So, roll of resolve and auspex. Make sure to include your hunger dice in the mm -hmm. pool. Spinny, ooh, yeah. a ooh, crit yeah. success and two successes. Or just one success. So no, six. One, two. Oh, sorry. Yeah, no, six. Is it a, six. Is it a messy critical? No. Nope. Six successes. So, X yeah. stares at Nelly, <laughs> examines her face closely. And X, the world fades away dissolves, you see a theater marquee. Everything's in black and white though. And there's no sound. It's like watching a silent movie. Searchlights play across the sky, the night sky, bouncing off the clouds, the tall buildings. Announcing a gala event. On the marquee, there are no letters, but there are symbols. Do you recognize any of the symbols? Yes. There's a scepter. You see a sword. You see a rose. See a crown. See a wolf. And the symbols begin to chase each other around the marquee. The wolf's jaws snapping as it tries to seize the crown, the scepter, the sword, the rose. It's like watching a merry-go-round in lights spinning spinning, spinning, and all the while the searchlights play against the sky, looking for something that they can't find. And then everything goes dark. The searchlights switch out. The marquee shuts off. And the city is plunged into darkness. It is at this point that you come back to yourself. You <gasps> are yourself again. That was a good one. Oh. Yeah. Oh, uh, um, okay, so black and white films, very important, right? Mm -hmm. Especially in this town. Uh, but I saw everything was in black and white. It was like watching a movie. There was no sound and there were lights, spotlights, searchlights and a marquee with some symbols on it. And it seemed like they were the clan symbols. Huh? Which ones? Uh, it, it was the, what, Ventru? Like that uh, one? Like that one, that one. But like, yeah, yeah, the sword and the scepter. There was there was a rose. What? There was not a mirror for some reason or a sad face. There was no Tremere, I don't think, but there was a wolf. Gangrel or Lupine or something, but it started chasing the other clans around. Maybe this is an old thing. Is there any other symbols? There was uh, You told us about- A crown, a crown. Wait, the wolf and the crown again? You, they, that's, you've told us that like three times. But the crown was with the other, said it was being chased by the wolf this time. It wasn't in its mouth. But this was old? Not like three times. Three times. He's uh, said that three times? Yeah, don't you remember? No, I mean, three times. It means it'll come true. Yeah. I don't know what it means. Okay. By the way, yeah, I don't know where we were talking about that. Clan symbol, sad face. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. I know, right? It's like really. It's very, it's very apropos. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's like. It's well, mine's like an upside down anarchy symbol. So Again, very on, very on, very on brand. Those are Camarilla clans. 
Except remember. for Tremere. But you said there was no Tremere. There wasn't. There's no Tremere, there's no Nosferatu, no Malkavian. And so it might all... not be us, it might just be something. It's probably you two. Would Crown Victor, with his political affiliation, know the Gangrel's current relationship with the Camarilla? Hmm. That is an excellent question. It's not common knowledge, and you haven't made any special inquiries about it, so let's test it. Uh, that's intelligence and politics. Things I may not be as good at as you might think. <laughs> that was a lovely gift. Thanks. Yeah, I hope it helped. Thank you. So it's a moderate challenge, Let's so I'm looking for three successes. But thank you. I'm sure it'll come in handy in the future. That's exactly what I got. Three successes. <laughs> Hey. So, you have a general sense of the situation. The Gangrel, like the Bruja, chose to leave Camarilla. In fact, they were the first clan to leave the Camarilla en masse since the Camarilla was formed in the 15th century. And this happened in sometime in the late 90s when Many kindred thought that Gehenna was happening. Turns out they were wrong, apparently. Camarilla decided that I uh, didn't want the gang Gangrel back, even when the Gangrel decided they might want to rejoin. The answer was no, outcast. Individual Gangrel sometimes become members of the Camarilla, but their position is not enviable. They are often required to serve the Camarilla to prove their loyalty and demonstrate that they merit readmission as individuals. Uh, the Gangrels are on the outs with the Cam. I know that. But they attack? I mean, yeah. I mean, do you remember? Did you remember? Everybody? It seems like oh, odd that an entire clan would attack. I don't think that's it. But they keep going after the crown. That's the La Sombra. Um, I got somebody I it's, think I can ask. La Sombra's a very specific crown, though. If it's like the crown that's on your banner, that's not the La Sombra. I don't know. Is it the crown that I don't know? You've X. seen it, not me. X. Tell him he's wrong. He's totally See, wrong. You're totally wrong. <laughs> I don't, well, I don't is my know. gut uh, feeling. No, it's, I mean, you saw it. It's your vision. He doesn't get it. It's any crown, any rose, any sword, I understand. any scepter. The, what? They're what not, is it? There's no official, you know, logo for each okay. clan right. X. Okay. Everyone. Can I activate heightened senses? Heightened senses. Listen. I'm sure... We'll figure it out eventually. It tends to just happen anyway, regardless of if we know what's going to happen. Sure. So, just keep it in the back of your head. Mm. I mean, so I've, that when something bad happens, we can be like, "That's what that meant." What else are we going to do? <laughs> yeah. My whole life. You know, no, you're right. I mean, just like stuff just happens to us all the time. But you, I, I, I believe it or not, I listen to you when you tell me these things, and that has been you. bothering me for so long. Oh. I, just, I don't. And, I, and again, I feel like we're going to reach a point where we're like, oh, that's what that was. But I'm afraid there'll be flames. No, well, it's happened a couple of times. Things around us that we're like, oh, that's what we were supposed to be looking out for. And now it's here. We just got to prepare for the worst and hope for the best. <gasps> <laughs> Are they always bad? No. Sometimes they're good visions, you mean? Yeah. I feel like we're on the same wavelength for some reason. Mm. Yeah, oh, you are. She X, X, look to your left. Mm -hmm. Look to your left out the cabana. Nellie, you heard that. You heard the little voice, woman's voice, speaking to X right next to you. I think I'm on the same wavelength as you. X, look out the cabana. Do you see, do you see that tall, well-built? What was that? I'm on the same wavelength as you. No, because Eva's high. What's your excuse? I mean, it's her party. If she wants to Everybody turn stop up, talking turn up now. for X, two seconds. X, there's a thin blood here. There's a thin blood here? His name is what? Blake. His name is Blake. How do you know? See hey, X. X. No. Yeah. Step outside with me for a second. I can't. Yeah, yes, I'm coming too. Are you guys going to throw hands? Like, Why don't we is, just, no, just... Just excuse us for a moment. Where are you going? Yes, it's okay. I'm staying here. 
I'll stay here with you. Okay. I'll step out with Jasper and Annabelle. So you step out with Jasper and Annabelle. Everyone else stays in the cabana for now. Mm -hmm. This is an excellent place to pause our vampire story. <laughs> Ah, I got my laptop back and now I can't access anything. Wait, you're a revolutionary do hacking. How are those two things correlated? You're wearing the hoodie that they do in the movies. Like, come on, you look like a hacker person. I look like a hacker person, so suddenly I have magic computer skills. No, I can't deal with that. Ah, come on. Hey, that looks like ransomware. Did Someone probably hacked your computer and infected it with ransomware. Everything's all messed up, but uh, the good news is you have Backblaze remember, so uh, we can actually go back in time to before you were infected with ransomware and recover all that data. Uh, it's actually cool, if you don't know about it, you go to backblaze.com slash LA by night, you can start a free trial if you have any computers. Hey, look at that, now even time travel's real. You look like a hacker. Yeah. That is what a hacker looks like.
Welcome back to our Vampire the Masquerade Chronicle, L.A. by Night, Season 4, Episode 6, Hollywood Forever. Speaking of Hollywood, some of you in the cabana, some of you out, strange voices in the air, thin bloods visiting Tremere on the prowl. It's definitely a party. Um, I, I told Jasper. Oh, wait, wait, before we start. Yeah. What did she tell Jasper? Are you in the correct headspace to receive some information that might be emotionally damaging? Yes. I've started a club. Okay. We're called the Exes. Okay. Because my name is X. Yeah. And it's with your ex-girlfriend. It's okay, I know. What? X! What are you doing? Out. You take the earpiece out. He removes one of those wires like Secret oh. Service people is that her? wear from his ear. No, uh, yeah, um. Yeah, it is. That, it all, X, oh. X. That was what I wanted to talk to you about. Should I, because well, you're talking to us. That's okay, you can put it back in. Uh, <clears throat> go for the X's. I knew about it. Why me. did you do that? Don't make me take you Sorry. out. Sorry. Sorry. Oh. Already. She told me. Okay, cool. Uh, I and would have liked to have known earlier when I talked to you. I'm, I'm happy to see you. I haven't seen you in a long time. I'm glad you're okay. I know you sent me a vague text about being alive, but I'm happy you're alive. Honestly, I'm happy to see you too. And I was away for a different reason. This just complicated okay. things. I, I get it. What okay. happened? Are you okay? Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Um, we, I mean, Victor hooked us up. We got an apartment outside of Santa Monica, so we're not in the territory. And we've been gathering intel good. in our own way. I believe there was a miscommunication between you and I and between Chloe and I. That you might have abandoned something. It seems to be that look that way from her perspective, although that was not my intention. Perspective my ass. She wants you to know about her ass. I'm pretty sure In that's not what she said. Oh. Look, not what I meant to do. I'm not having this argument this way, X. I took it out. You're leaving, taking it out again? You can tell her. You can hear her, everyone who <laughs> is in the cabana. We're outside of the cabana. Yeah, out. You yeah. can't hear this unless you have heightened senses. <laughs> if you're outside the cabana, you can hear a voice electronic and, and a little tinny coming out of the earpiece. Hey, Chloe. Put me back in. No, Put me back. What I'm are you so doing? We, I'm sorry. We just need to have this conversation. Listen, <sighs> Chloe, I'm sure you can hear me right now. I would assume. All right, it, I'm going to put you back in, but you got to be nice because I can't hear what they're saying and you can't hear what they're saying either if you're talking, so shut your mouth. <sighs> but in a nice way, I'm sorry. I respect you. Go ahead. I'm very happy to know that both of you are okay and alive. I was very worried and I didn't know where either of you had gone. I'm very happy to know you all are safe. I would like to talk things out if possible. And I would like to try and explain how I thought things went down and how, and what I wanted to have before I lost track of you both. Everybody pause. Archangel, go ahead. X. X. Ask him Ask why. Ask him. Why? Why? He didn't come looking for me. He didn't come looking for me. Hmm? I did try and find you. A lot was happening in our lives at that time, and I was very close to not being here a lot, and I was taken by the Camarilla for a while. I heard about that. Um, yeah. You're okay? We all heard about it. Great. I'm the one that helped. Mm. We may have helped. A I appreciate that then. I would be dead. Like dead dead. Now, I... You're the one who's good at finding people, not me. Thank you. He means me, X. I'm good at it too. I tried, but I couldn't find you. You were good at hiding. I found her. 
I we found her. Found her. Well, I, I found her. Then I text. I should have texted you. That would have gone very differently. It would have been preferable, but I understand. I didn't know you didn't though. Know, was there? I know. I know. I didn't tell anybody. So really, this is on you. Sure. Why not? Everything else is. That's fair. I feel like you and Chloe need to have a heart to heart. I think we do Without too. an interpreter. I agree. You're doing a great job. You are. You're doing great, but it's not fair to you. Look. I, great, you guys are working together. I'm glad you're safe. I am happy to have a talk about this. This is not the time, mm. but. We can set something up. Yes. With our arrangements. Yes. With the fortune telling shop. Great, let's do that. We will tell you which one in okay. the valley. Great. And we will have a meeting. Yes. Right? Right. Right. I, and nobody will kill anyone. I don't want to kill you anyone. No, I'm not making any promises at this point. I'm especially talking to you, Archangel. Okay, that's fair. Great. I feel great now. All right. Are you kidding me? This is fantastic. You already knew. I'm still alive. <laughs> it's good to see yes, you again. You Not you? that it matters too much to the yeah, yeah, four no. of you, but you have been given a very wide berth by the other party goers near the cabins. <laughs> I turn around and I go, oh, I'm so sorry. We got caught up. We were rehearsing something. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. And That's scene. Cool. You know, I did that once at a, at a Starbucks and um, brought yeah, the house Yeah, it gets down. crazy. Sorry, we were just so into down. it, and I, totally I really. Cool. Yeah, you do you. Yeah, thanks. Awesome. Sorry. Holly yeah. weird, am I right? <laughs> hey, represent. Uh, you look awesome. Thank you. So a lot cool. of people work are you, really hard. Are you with that new uh, uh, creepathon thing? <laughs> yeah. He's a so cool. I can't wait for it. It's I'm very excited too. I can't wait for everybody to see it. Show. You know, drumming up hype. And you're? Are you? I'm. She, are you with it? Are you with Creepathon? Are you like, she, no, wait, let me guess, let me guess, let me guess. It's, um, yeah, is it, uh, yeah, Eva's in the, Eva's in the cabana. The oh, that's right. You're not even here. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> that woman over there with you. That it happens to me all the time. time. <laughs> Clearly, I have not no one. idea. I've had way too much champagne. I'll just see myself. I, you know, I was going to let you have it. I didn't know who you were talking to, but I was going to let you go with it. Didn't you see her? No. The lady in white? She was right there a minute ago. This place is haunted. <gasps> they do say that. I'm gonna go to the bar. Bye. Good idea. <laughs> so, Chloe's in your ear now. Chloe? Yes. Okay. Um, We're gonna go with Archangel just to keep up appearances because we don't know whose name is important to whom. That's right. Ah, of course. Uh, well, with Archangel in your ear, that actually helps us out tonight. Oh? Yeah. We're in kind of on high alert here. We don't know the situation. Not everybody's recognizing Nellie as the Baron. What? I can recognize her. <laughs> also, Chloe, I don't know if you, Archangel, sorry. Thanks. It's a new thing for me. If you saw, I'm sure you did, those two, the man in the purple suit with the facial hair and the woman in black with the boots, uh, both of them are Camarilla, yes. Tremere. Yes. If they do anything weird, maybe oh, tell us. We know that. Okay, great. I don't know what you know. I haven't talked to you in months. Oh yeah, that's true. But we found that out. But Good. Just, just now. Awesome. Great. Well, kind of. Some of them are were nervous about Gehenna. Fair. And so some of the older ones tend to get suspicious. Okay. And we're sort of planting some rumors when they come to get their fortune read. Okay. But turns out it increased the wrath against the Thin, thin bloods, the Duskborn. They think that they're the bringers of Gehenna, and so well, you've been was... telling them that Gehenna's real. Well, I, I stirred the pot. Maybe it was Archangel. Look, it's they were gonna. I you cannot at, blame this on me. They're mad at thin bloods anyway. I'd never heard of Gehenna until. Yeah. Look, that's not my fault. Well, Please tell Jasper. Everybody, pause. Archangel, go ahead. Please tell Jasper. Please tell Jasper. That I'll be happy to meet him. That I'll be happy to meet him. For a chat. Okay. For a chat. Great. Maybe at our favorite coffee house. Maybe at the fortune telling place we decide on in the future. Okay. Wherever. Hey, you okay? Yes. Your jaw. Yes. Great. All right. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna go have a good time. Yeah. That was a huge weight off my shoulders. Well, <laughs> meanwhile, back in the cabana, <laughs> Nellie has been listening and telling me everything they're saying. 
Ah, <laughs> eavesdropping with heightened sense. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I look over at Eva and I go, Eva, you good? Um, was she saying that just in your ear or out to both of us? Uh, just in his ear. Great. I'm great. Um, I do have something for you. You asked me to, yes, here. Wait, before I touch him, are they gonna like blow up or something? <laughs> Why would I do that? Well, you asked me to put a tracker on it. Yes. I'm not sure why. Because you know the life we lead, okay. Well, now I'll be able to track you for the next week, but I won't be here, so. I mean, where are you going? Um, I'm gonna go take care of my mess. Um, you have to make sure Jasper doesn't follow me, okay? So, here's the thing. All of us, and quite frankly, you two in particular, trying to fix things by yourself, catastrophically fucks up everything. But I'm not part of the Anarch. It's not a political... Yeah, but you are, though, Eva. You are. Then I won't fix anything. I just... I have to go. I can tell. You can tell what, sweetheart? That I'm the one making everything. No, you're not. And you leaving will not help anything. Like the fact, it'll weaken us. Yeah, that helps no one. That I serves just... no one. All I've done is hurt people the past few days, and I can't see straight lately. I mean, no, at this exact second, I believe you, but trust me, I got no reason to lie to you. We need- You're not changing my mind, okay? Okay, hold on. If you're gonna do this, we need some way to get a hold of you. I need some way to get a hold of you. I need to know that you're okay. Okay. I. Mm -hmm. I'll still have my phone. Okay. And I'll have this key card. Okay. You take your time, have your space. I'll tend to him, but again, wherever in there, in the however many of me you're seeing right now, you leaving does not help us. If it helps you, cool. But don't make it out like you're making some grand altruistic sacrifice because you are not. I didn't cause any problems for you today, tonight. You sure? Earlier tonight. It's the thing, I dealt with it. Don't worry about it. But that's the point. We cover each other. That's what we do. We're family. I can't keep, I can't keep doing that. Just give me some time. You know where we are? Yeah. At this point, the tent of the cabana like rips open and X spots you and he's like, we're gonna go have a good time. And Who's I'm gonna Chloe? Grab your arm. Nobody. And we're gonna leave. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna make our way to the dance floor. I activate awe when he comes in. Nellie's looking particularly beautiful this evening. Do you want to dance? Very alluring, very yeah. charming. Let's get out. Let's go dance. Let's go dance? You don't want to dance in here? What? There's a cool dance floor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll go on the dance floor, but you're going to answer a question. Okay, yeah. I'm, I feel ready? really good it's, right it's now. It's a really exciting game. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. How many fingers do you have? How many fingers do yeah. I have? I have 10 fingers. How many rings do you have on? Two. Who's Chloe? Archangel. Oh, <laughs> it's no one. It's- Oh, you're spying on us? Really, Nelly? Yes. You know who Archangel is and haven't mentioned that? Is you know who Archangel is? It is the most important yeah, thing. I mean, I will tell you that I literally just found out it was Archangel right now. Is she here? No. Kinda. Is there what? something you want to say to her? Is she okay? Yeah. Good. I have something I'd like to say to her. Uh, go ahead. 
I think Archangel is a genius. Thank it, you. I would love to be able to help in any way possible. I think what she's doing is fucking fantastic. G great, great. Ha, let me so try. there. We won't let it get to her See, head. you and Annabelle didn't like it, but he gets it. And we he will totally gets it. set up a He's meeting. He's a lot smarter than you said. I <laughs> would love to meet this person whose name I will not say in a room full of people with hypersonic fucking hearing, but yes, I, yes, yeah. I would love that, yes. We'll set up a meeting at a, at a place. I just wanna dance. I just wanted to have one conversation. You and I, my friend, do need to have a moment while they dance. All right. I'm gonna crap you. Annabelle. Let's go dance. As my Baron commands. So, four kindred head to the dance floor. Annabelle, Nellie, X, and Eva. When the hostess comes out of the cabana, you know what happens. <laughs> Attention, people, kindred. But you're headed for the dance floor, and so the whole crowd moves there with you. I'll be like partnered up with you. We're just sort of moving. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling tonight? So good. Yeah? A little confused. I just want to enjoy myself. Right? It's so nice. Like we don't have to worry about ex-girlfriends or revenge or whatever, or abandonment. Are you <laughs> actually dancing with her? Yes, I am. Happy to see you. <sighs> Happy to see you too, X. So why did you abandon uh, Chloe? Oh. Oh, this I, should be just an, this. Thank you. Thank you, Alice. She, um, I came back and she had left. I'd given her somewhere to stay and I awarded it to the best of my ability, but I can't stop her from doing what she wants to do. That's right. Nobody can stop her because she's a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> Seemed that way. Is that good enough? I don't know. Is, oh, is that? Yeah, uh, that wasn't for you. <clears throat> okay, let's dance. Okay. Annabelle, this feels oddly familiar. Uh, yeah, we've done a lot of danger dancing before. We sure have. <laughs> Mark's not around, right? <sighs> the party is now officially on the dance floor. The security guards have to step in to keep people off the edges because the tiles that cover the pool can't take much more weight. A few more people and everyone's going for a swim. As he's clearing people away, I take the center of that and start moonwalking. Yeah! Yay! I'm really good at it. Yeah. <laughs> Most of the party guards don't really know <laughs> what to make of you, and they do you the courtesy of just pretending not to notice. That's fine. I'm having a great time. <laughs> Thank you. X, 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 X. They take up the chant. X, 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 I came to moonwalk into the pool. That's a good idea. <laughs> Interesting. Back in the cabana, Victor and Jasper get a moment to talk. When I hear the X chant start, <laughs> I actually draw the curtains. <laughs> so now you can no longer see the dance floor. What's up? For the rest of the party. Two quick questions. Yeah. Remember that time you, Nellie, and I went over to the Getty Center to the Elysium? Yeah. You spotted any of those people here? Not that I've seen, other than the Camarilla ones I said, and you apparently saw Edison. I haven't seen anybody that I particularly recognize, although I haven't been really out there much. Um, you and I don't bullshit each other, so let's just get to it. Okay, what are we talking about? What's the blind leak? And uh, how did you hear that name? I'm not, I'll tell you, but I'm honest. Someone tried to blackmail you with it. I didn't bite. 
Ah. Uh, that's from a long time ago. That's before I was kindred. That's, um, you know, I mean, you're from money, right? I mean, you I, have money. I wasn't, but I am now. Okay. Right. Opposite. I was, I now not. I was from money, right? I told you this, didn't I? You have not, actually. I have only vague allusions to not. I told Anne about this. Never mind. From money. Back in New York. Right? What do spoiled kids do with money? Find ways to spend it. Find things to occupy their time. Went to college. Didn't feel like I had enough power in the world. We're not so different. Joined in a occult society. People doing magic. Not real magic. Doing magic to improve their lot in life. You know? Things rich people do. That was it. I was a part of that circle. And that died with Jasper Hardwood? And that died with my leaving New York. I was here for a couple of years before I got turned. All right, look, I left because I, I'm sure I alluded to the fact that I wasn't a good person before this. I mean, you're positively cherubic now, so I'm sure it's like. Right. I killed somebody when I was a human and I stole a bunch of stuff and left. They have it coming? Thought so at the time. Haven't thought about it in a long time. Hey man, uh, I'm not here to judge. It was literally another life. Yeah. But I gotta know if it's the type of thing that if it comes to light, and I mean all of it comes to light, is that going to be a problem? Look, all I know is I was an asshole. I got mad at a friend. Yeah, what? Well, fine. Different type of asshole. Got mad at somebody who I thought was stealing from me, stealing my spotlight, stealing my power. Got mad at them. We got into an argument. I stabbed him. That thing? You know why that's important to me? My knife is inside my coat. That's the blade? That's the knife I stabbed him with. That's why it's important to me. I stole a bunch of books. Part of my library is from that library. Tremere. Yeah. Some others can touch things, know things. Yeah. Is there anything else? I mean, I know I've seen you do a ton of shit with that knife, but is there any other stories that Blade is going to tell that you don't want known? Not that I know of. I've stabbed a lot of people since becoming a kindred. Yeah, great. They're going to know those things. Not any more damaging than any other thing I do. All I know about that time is I killed the guy who was my best friend and I ran. Okay, forgive me. I know how this is going to sound, but I'm in the movie business. Any chance that guy's not really dead? Uh, His brother, his sister, his mother, his father, somebody with some vendetta. If you had asked me then, I would have been 100% sure he was dead. I don't know now. A million fucking things could have happened. You might recall Nick was 100% sure Annabelle was dead. Yeah. So I don't know. I haven't heard a thing about that since you just brought it up. Well, because I'm just saying some aspiring sorcerer that it might have fallen into the Tremere and maybe made his way out west could be problematic. So are you sure you don't recognize any of those faces? I haven't. Especially not that Bosch guy. I haven't seen Bosch before in my life. All right. Again, hey, man, you did what you did. I, whatever. I'm not here to judge. Like I said, it was a different life, but apparently someone believes that knowledge is significant enough to have all of us turn on you. Okay. I, uh, that must be interesting. I'm just putting something together here. When Annabelle met Aurora, remember that she told us that. 
She did. Yeah, okay. I wanted to make sure she told you then, didn't just tell me that. You know, no one tells me anything, but I keep finding out just like way too late. But yes, <laughs> she did mention that. She told me something about that. Uh, Aurora's looking for Carver. Don't know why. I'm sure there's a million reasons he's an asshole, but. Yeah. The bargain was that they get Carver, they don't talk about some secret they had about me. I mean, I thought it was just like, you know, how you get yours was what they- I don't know if anybody knows that besides us. Look, man, I, again, I don't, I don't have to dig. I just, you know- No, I'm place. telling, I'm telling you what I know. They think it's something. And if, if this thin blood shit has taught me anything, them believing it is something means it's something. I get it. I don't know what it means though. If it means something, I wasn't not, I wasn't prevalent, prevalent to that knowledge at the time, nor am I now. Uh, speaking of putting something together, way back when, way back when, you told me you ran into an old friend, but you dealt with it. <laughs> Did you cause fucking Archangel? Are you Archangel's origin story? Yeah, honestly, I guess I am. <laughs> the greatest media brilliance in kindred history is your fault. <laughs> I, you know, I guess. You thought I'd be mad about it. I'm not. I'm not I don't care. I don't maybe, care if you were mad about it at all. Maybe the old me would have been mad about it. But given all this, I actually think it's hilarious. I really do. Archangel is Chloe. Chloe is my ex from when I was alive. You do know I'm going to talk to her. You know that, right? I know. I have to talk to her. She's quite mad at me right now. Well, you know, it's um. Hey, this is this is this is Nelly's night. I just this um. Just, again, think some more about this blind league thing, man. I don't think they're gonna let it go. I'll try. All right, I, for my part, never heard anything about it. Great. All right, ready? Nope, I'm just gonna sit here for a minute and <laughs> absorb all of this. You know what, they're gonna be looking at me anyway, and I turn on all. <laughs> I'm like, do you wanna? Uh, yeah, just go, I'm just gonna sit here for a minute, and I do Cloak of Shadows so I don't move. I, I do look I do look away from them. Cloak of Shadows. Mm. And I, as long as you don't <laughs> move. <laughs> You won't be seen. Yeah. You can't mm -hmm. help but be seen. But the moment I rip it open, and if I there still hear the X chant, I am just like, <laughs> oh shit, is that X? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> because that'll help. <laughs> oh yeah. Nelly G. So while that's going on, I make my way over to Edison. Yeah, and while you do that, Blake, the thin blood, makes his way over to you. He's the fellow you met at the deep the bouncer. Edison is pleased to see you. Ellie. Darling, it's been congratulations. ages. Congratulations. Thank you. Kiss, kiss. Yes, kiss, kiss. What are you doing here? Well, I heard it was, you know, open invitation. Yes, I was hoping that you'd join. Not many of the court have decided to uh, visit. Of course not. It's not their thing. I understand. They're not my thing either. Fair enough. Are you you look fantastic. Thank this you. place looks fantastic. Thank you. The jazz band is inspired. Appreciate it, yeah. Way to make an entrance. Oh, you know, I learned from the best. Yeah, so I hear. <laughs> How are things on the other side? Oh, you know, blah, blah, danger this, blah, blah, politics that. Who yeah. cares? How's Paulina? Frustrated. Really? Why is that? Uh, it seems like uh, every time she tries to uh, launch a new fashion line, something just falls through. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? My goodness, no. You really think I would have something to do with that? How dare. Mm, yeah, well, I think it's hilarious. You know. What about, um, I don't know, what is the, the court? Uh, the, the prince? How's the prince doing? You know, we don't see Vannevar as often as we did a few months ago. And when we do, it's a little touch and go. Good nights and bad nights. 
fascinating. And yeah. what of his seneschal? How is she taking this? Suzanne's brilliant. You know, you know how she's incredible. She's amazing. She's got her finger on the pulse of everything. She, she and uh, Mr. Strauss seem to be keeping the lid on. I heard a few rumors that um, there might have been a coterie or two um, on our side that was planning to, um, you know, maybe provoke a reaction that would lead to chain reaction that would lead to return to hostilities, but <sighs> nothing happened. I got, maybe it got shut down. Maybe, I don't know, maybe they changed their minds, but, hmm. um, well, hopefully they know. changed their minds and that was a wise decision of theirs. Yeah. So what do you intend to do? What do I intend to do? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. That is quite a loaded question. Well, I'm sure you have a laundry list. Of course I do, but I don't do my own laundry. Good. Good one. Yeah. I dropped by, um, I dropped by the Maharani the other night. Yeah. I heard. What's up with that? Velvet asked me. I was curious. I haven't been there. I didn't even know we were allowed in. I figured, you know, tower. 86. Mm -hmm. Nice place. It's gorgeous. Victor mm -hmm. has done a phenomenal job. Clearly, he's got great taste. Did you see the mirrors? I did. I did. You know who would hate those? Yes. He's a very, very intelligent designer. He looks around just to make sure that nobody who might have taken that remark badly actually is here to overhear it. Fair enough. Anything else that... I should know about with the cam. I hear. I don't know if I should tell you this or not, but I probably shouldn't, but I'm going to anyway. So. <laughs> of course. Yes. I love good gossip. Yeah. Um, Therese Foreman's been hanging around. What? Yeah. I really don't like that. Why is Teresa I just here? don't like her. Why? Yeah, I know she's, you know, I mean, it's not just because she's an anarchist. You know I'm pretty apolitical. Yes. Right? Yes. But why would Therese be hanging around? I don't know. There? You guys don't reside in Santa Monica, so what other business would she have? Hey, look, I said I don't know. I just thought you'd like to know. Interesting. Hmm. You want to dance? I would love a dance. Let's get down. Let's do it. Yeah. Show them how it's done. <laughs> hey, am I happy to see a friendly face? Blake, I don't, I'm so glad you made it. I don't think all these, I don't think all these um, <clears throat> not people like me very much. That's nonsense. Maybe. You look great. Thanks. Thanks, Nelly. Always knows how to play dress up with me. How's it? I don't even pretend to know what that means. <laughs> I'm, I'm not good at these things either. You drinking that? Uh, in a manner of speaking. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, sure. Yeah. Oh, I totally can. It's perk, I guess. I don't know. You can drink? You're not gonna throw that up later. Uh-uh. Wow. I can't I can't do what uh, Miss D does though. Ah. Yeah. I gotta I gotta go to bed at sunrise like you do. How many blows? <laughs> it really blows. Yeah, it, it does. This is wow. This is top shelf. I know, I miss beer. Hey, yeah, each their own. Hey, listen, you really impressed Miss D. Really? Yeah, you and your you and your friend Special K. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Good to know. She had a, she had a lot of nice things to say after you left. I'm I would I don't know if she trusts you. She just met you. But, That's uh, fair. She shouldn't trust any kindred. Yeah. Your your carver friend though, he's not welcome back. No, he's never welcome. Not anywhere. But that uh that thing that you, your friend brought. Where did she get it? What? The recipe. Oh, she gave the recipe, right. Um, 
I don't know, from a friend of hers, I guess. <sighs> some, some pretty powerful stuff. Was it? Yeah, yeah. I'm glad you guys have it. You know, um, you know how uh, if we get hurt really badly, we sort of slip into a coma? Yeah. One hit of that, you'll wake up. Pretty valuable. It can wake any kindred? I think so. Our kind too? I think so. Uh, it's not like we tested it, you know. What? Well, think we could get more champagne? Uh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. And we'll, we'll hit the bar after this, but. Pretty cool, huh? Is that normal? That kind of stuff that alchemy can do? You know what? I don't really know. I don't, I can't do it myself. Not all of us can. That's a game changer. It could be. Could certainly reduce risks for some dangerous situations. Look, you guys are your own free agents. And as I said, you know, we're hoping to give you guys the resources that you need to make a stand on your own. But I mean, if we should ever need something like that, I got a friend that we would really need that for a lot. Yeah. Like we need it constantly for him. Wow. Like, I don't know. He, he just life. He just have like a, a bandolier of that shit on him. <laughs> Well, I mean, <clears throat> we've got somebody that's gonna try to make it. Okay, please, keep me updated. Do you think you would test it for us? Uh, we might have to. <laughs> That'd be really useful. I, uh, hey, um. Hey, do you know that, do you know that tall, pale, I assume not person uh, <laughs> over there on the other side of the pool with the long silver blonde hair and the t-shirt who keeps staring at us? Uh. And about when you look, where he indicates, you do see a tall, slender individual with long, silvery blonde hair. You think you recognize him as one of the kindred who is at the rally. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was at the rally. Yeah, and he's with a couple of other kindred who were there too, and they are staring at Blake. Oh. And uh... they don't, they don't, Look like they're staring in a friendly manner. Eva, where are you at this time? We're still dancing. Still dancing. Still dancing with X. Actually, could I ask you a quick question? Sure. What's that thing on your neck? Which one? Well, all of it. Jasper gave me this one. Oh? Yeah, isn't it cute? It's a little Jasper stone on top, a little flower inside. Aw. And the other one? Just a necklace. I've been trying some stuff out. Can I try something on one? Whichever one, you can pick. Sure. Which uh, one? Here. Okay, all right. <clears throat> I'm still new to this, but it helps to dance while we do it too. Okay. And then I'll take it in both of my hands and I'll activate Spirit's Touch. Spirit's Touch. It's a new one. Uh -huh. So I'll do a rouse check for it. Yes. And I'm good. And that is not good. Oh, that's not good. That is a failure. <laughs> Failed rouse check. That increases your hunger by one. Yes. They're the opposite of good. I'm at three. <clears throat> and then I. X, uh -huh. my boy, you really need to eat. You know what happens when you get hangry. It's true. <clears throat> you, you got a point. Is that all? Can we move on? Really? What? After all I've done for you. You, you haven't done anything. I think and you're going to find very soon that you are completely wrong about that, you ungrateful brat. Stop, stop. Okay. Please make a roll of intelligence and auspects. Now, Spirit's Touch allows you to sense the emotional residue left by those who have handled the object or visited a place. Mm -hmm in the past. So let's see what happens. Just four. Four, four successes. successes. So let's take this in stages. First of all, what are the surface level emotions associated with it? Your emotions in the last few moments, what um. are you feeling about? Um. 
love, uh, sorrow, and fear. It's a complex admixture of conflicting feelings. Four successes is good, so let's let's move a little deeper through the the layers of resonance. Below those surface emotions. What is the core emotion associated with this object? If all other feelings were stripped away and it had only one, what would be left? Gratitude. Gratitude. Finally, the deepest layer. Are there any emotions other than yours associated with the object? Has anyone else other than you touched it in the recent past? And if so, what is the strongest emotion that person might have left on it? Um, person or kindred it was um, contentment contentment and that is what the power tells you X mm, this is delicious what <laughs> What you do, you do. You care for him, don't you? I do. I really do. I can see that. And I believe you. And I think it might be the most I've ever felt Jasper feel happy. <laughs> Sad as that is. Does, do you know, does Chloe still love him. I'm gonna take the earpiece out and I'm gonna smash it. Ah, I'm gonna break it. You don't have to make a roll for it. It's, it's uh, not strong enough to withstand the crush of your hand. The last thing you hear is a squawk of ah. Oh, what is that? Just a bug. Oh. I think that when we feel things it lasts longer. And the repercussions from those feelings can affect us. I think that Chloe is confused and I think she feels abandoned, but I think she could forgive you if that's what you want. I didn't want her to leave. I don't understand. It's okay. I think you're fantastic. <laughs> I'm sorry that we don't get to speak more often. I like the times we've had together at least. Listen, I know things are confusing right now. You have to do it. I don't know what's happening right now and I don't know what it's telling me, but you have to do it. Does that make sense? Okay, yes. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's okay. Thank you. You're a great dancer. <laughs> so are you. <laughs> Thanks. Victor, when you leave the cabana and head out into the party proper, where do you go? I text Jeanette. I'm still saving you that dance. And I head for Casey. Casey's standing with uh, a couple of other individuals. One of them is very tall and her huge blonde hairdo makes her even taller. The top of her hairdo comes almost up to your, well, maybe your chin. 
but these are people I do not recognize. You don't recognize these uh, these other two um, that she's standing with. Uh, the person with the hairdo she introduces to you as Torrance. Torrance is wearing a very stylish black moto jacket, black leather pants, and some cool cycle boots, and a lot of gold bling. She gives you finger pistols. Aaron, <laughs> pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. And, and you are the, most of the other person? Nails. Nails. Nails is very athletic. Nails has short brown hair, pulled back in a queue. She looks like uh, in her breathing days, she worked out. She's got clean denims. Casey looks up at you. It's a long way up for Casey. I'm like, don't hurt me, Casey. <laughs> no promises. How you doing? Great party. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, for a party without a fight. It's not the last, right? Hey, the night's not over, right? Uh, can I, I gotta ask you something. Can we talk? And I just sort of like eye at them. I'm like, can we talk? Hey, these are my new Valks. Good to see you rebuild it. Valks, this is the Baron Temple that I've told you all about. I meant what I said. You're good in the valley, as long as you want. You know, I appreciate it. I really do. Uh, two things. You remember that, uh, that little party we threw in Griffith Park a few months back? Oh, yeah. The one person who wasn't on the guest list is trying to find out what happened. That seems bad. Terrible, but just want to give you a heads up. Should I really give a shit? I think we both know you should. Is she here? I sure as shit hope not. This is that uh, person I told you both about. They both immediately start looking around. Uh, Torrance puts a hand under her black jacket. This is Nellie's event. We're being cool. We got eyes everywhere. You know, I remember you threw an awesome event not too long ago and it ended in Oh, it was amazing. Yeah, it was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Though everyone who remembers it thinks it was amazing. Yeah. But just want to give you that heads up. Second yeah, amazing thing, shit show is what it was. Second thing, and I know this is going to sound weird even when I say it, but that's the life we lead. If you, and I do sort of lean in because she is much smaller than I am. But <laughs> you talk to sick lately? Six mending. Yeah, but that was months ago. You told me she was with her sire, and I haven't really... Because I've been hearing things. I've been hearing things that the gangrel are making moves, and Sycorax is the only gangrel I know. I'll ask her to talk to you. Please do. You heard wrong. The wolves ain't making no moves. I'd hurt. Well... Extend the same offer to her. She's safe in the valley. Torrance a wolf. Really? Oh. That's, that's hot. I'm into it. It's, it's wolf moon right now. You know that, right? It's a, you know, that has nothing to do with us. <laughs> I, you know what? My, I don't know. Apparently, like, ghosts and gargoyles are real. This place is haunted as shit, by the way. I don't know if you can see them, but they're here. Not my thing. But you, again, I'm not trying to, like, dive too deeply into, you know, just business. But do you know of any big things happening? Tell you what. You introduce me to the Baroness, and I'll tell you everything I know. Let's do she it. She loops her arm through Absol yours. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm Have like, fun, kids. Mm-hmm. I'm like, Casey. I'm going to... Jasper, are you still in the cabana? I'm coming out of the cabana now. <laughs> Not a euphemism. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cabana boy. <laughs> You've been a Toreador this entire time. <laughs> right. um, I come out and I just, thinking about what everything was said in there, I look around and now I'm a little paranoid, more mm -hmm. so than before. Do I recognize anybody? Anybody that I haven't mentioned yeah. so far? Let's see. You spotted Bosch and Vera. Yeah. I've mentioned Edison. Yeah. I've mentioned Miranda. Yeah. 
whose cabana has become the most popular one around the pool. A lot of laughter and giggles and sounds of a good time happening in that direction. I've mentioned Velvet, yeah. who seems to have her own admiring entourage that she is leading around the pool, mm -hmm. deep in happy conversation. I've mentioned Nines, yeah. comes in and out occasionally. You don't see anyone else All right. so far. You see Annabelle in conversation with a tall, athletic man with short hair who's drinking champagne. They appear to be trading stares with several kindred from the big rally across the pool. You see Eva improbably dancing with X. You see Nellie holding her own court where and when and as she chooses. I'm gonna head over to Nelly. Hmm? Darlings, your outfits are just so magnificent. I'm so happy that you all came to join. So um, now about the movie project that was underway. So <laughs> can we expect that financing will continue because as you know, the cameras are just about to roll. I mean, I'm a sucker for a good suit. So let's talk about it in the morning. In the morning? Okay. You talk to my people. Your people. And they'll put it on the books. Whatever you say. Great. I'm so glad. Jasper. Hi. How are you, dear? Whoa. Whoa, indeed. It's great, huh? They really do wonders with masks these days. It's so lifelike. I know. I mean, unlifelike. Amazing what a little glue and paint will do. He's fantastic with his hands. Shall we? Yeah. And I follow. I'm actually going to take you into the hotel and okay. go down a level. Okay, great. You want to go mm -hmm. underground? Mm -hmm. One level down from ground. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, I did have something I wanted to talk to you about, seeing as you're now the Baron of Hollywood. Yes. What, what's that? As you know, I technically reside in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. So you are technically now my Baron. Mm -hmm. Now, technically, the last Baron and I had an arrangement. I see. Last Baron and I... Uh, I did favors for him, mm -hmm. and he left me alone and let me do what I wanted. Fair enough. Now, I don't know if Abrams informed you of what I did. Not the minutia. Long story short, there were... You were in my haven. I assume you saw the uh, cages. Mm -hmm. Those were also for his use. I kept people there for him. Mm. If need be. Interesting. So, was part of my arrangement with the former Baron... If you need someone off the streets or someone to disappear for a while, I kept them at my place. Mm. Now, technically, as far as I'm concerned, that deal still stands because you are still, or now, the Baron. Also, I don't know if you're aware of this, but a certain other Baron from a certain other province seems to be using my talents at his disposal willy-nilly and not consulting me about it. I see. So you're a little peeved with this other Baron's usage of your talents. I mean, willingly. I'm not going to name names. Mm, I understand. No worries. Um, it seems that you and Abrams had a good working relationship, so why yeah. bother that and just uh, continue I'm on? Just informing you that that was something that existed. 
I see. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Offer still stands. Thank you. Um, across the pool, those three kindred in the rally are having a huddled conversation. And they do keep looking over at you and Blake. Excuse me for a moment, Blake. Yeah. I walk over to the vampires. You walk right up to them. Yeah. <laughs> they stop talking with each other and the vampire, with the long silver blonde hair, uh, steps forward. Hey, Annabelle. Thank you so much for coming tonight. It really means uh, a lot. You know, wanted to pay our respects. Uh, great to see you. It's really um, good to hey, see you. Hey, you know, we didn't get a chance to meet at the rally. Um, I'm Ollie. Ollie? I'm the uh, Baron of Sun Valley. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A lot of great studios there in Sun Valley. Yeah. Um, <laughs> are there? Smaller ones, you know, but. Cool, cool, You, cool, cool. you are um, still part of the biz, as they say. And, yeah, you know, anybody sorry. who's anybody's here tonight at the party. Uh, gestures at one of his uh, associates who's very short and uh, very athletic and has um, her Elvis sideburns. This is uh, Allie. Allie, lovely mm -hmm. to meet you. Mm -hmm. And uh, this guy here with the mullet and the bad mustache, <laughs> this is L. L, L, mm -hmm. Ollie, and Allie, great. It's actually, it's actually L E, but you know, we get a lot of jokes here. Oh, this I'm sure forestalls so, the whole Ollie discussion. Al, L. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's, thank you. Thank you so much. It really, and thank you. I remember you being there at the big rally. That meant a lot. It was, it was really inspiring. Hey, can I ask you a question? Absolutely. Why I mean, are you hanging around with that scum? Oh, you guys aren't like the cam, are you? Where you think Watch that- Watch your tongue. I mean, I, I mean, well, I'm saying you're not, right? I mean, they are all suspicious and superstitious about, about the, the thin bloods, but I mean, we're the anarchs. We make our own rules, right? Yeah, we make our own rules. And your rules exclude- Haven't you heard? What? No. They're gonna bring about the end of the world. <sighs> It says that you they're a sign to, of the end of the world. Be, you don't have to be in a Camarilla to believe, to have faith. I, I, I don't, I'm so sorry. So you don't I, believe it? I don't. And even if I did, you know, it's, it's a sign of the end of days. They're coming whether we want it or not, right? That's how prophecies work. The, uh, Individual who is introduced as Al with the Elvis sideburn speaks up and says, we just, uh, we just, we just, just chuck him in the pool, see if he drowns. I hear they breathe. Okay, <laughs> that's, that is absolutely out of the question. This is Baron Griffith's big party. Yeah, every we, we, single we person, every kindred from the valley is welcome here. And yes, that includes the Thin Bloods. We're starting a new world order. We don't want to treat them the way that the Camarilla treat us. Plus. Ollie doesn't appear to be convinced and neither does Al. L with the mullet and the bad mustache. Yeah, maybe I sort of, I sort of pick up what you're laying down, but we hear a lot. Uh, we lot, hear a lot of shady stuff about him. Are you sure? Are you sure, Annabelle? Because you said a lot of things about, you know, that really struck home with me. And you, when you said those things, you meant the Thin Bloods too? I switch on awe. Suddenly you are magnetic in your appeal. And they all notice. I meant every single word in that speech. I said, everybody deserves a home. That's the Thin Bloods as well. Why should they be discriminated against just because they're a generation below you? What are we suddenly the Camarilla where we care about rank and, and, and blood power and... No, they deserve a home just as much as we do. Charisma and persuasion. Please. <laughs> and you can add your presence to the role. 
I'll roll once for them collectively. Eight. Prisma and. Thank God. <laughs> Make sure you add dice for your presence too. This is what you were born Three. for. Yes. Wow. Oh wait, that's not a. I roll one more. Whoa! How did you? Do oh no. That? Okay, I'm gonna burn a willpower. Yeah. Burning willpower, you can reroll up to three normal dice. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, five. five. Five successes. It's success. like 12 blank dice. Because yeah. <laughs> <sighs> you don't really believe it. You don't really believe it. <laughs> <laughs> then blooded scum. <laughs> okay. We hear you. We respect the Baron's wishes here at her party and in her domain. It's not just her wishes. It's the way it has to be. Not in Sun Valley. Look what generation it. are you? I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe 13, 12. I'm not sure how you check. It's not like they give us a card, you know, but it has nothing to do with that. I hear they just, they put us in danger. Why? You don't believe it, huh? I don't. What, what has a thin blood ever done to you? You're gonna believe a prophecy over... They look at each other and they exchange embarrassed glances. You know, you, you make a good point. We'll, we'll behave here. I'd love to have further discussions about it. Okay, come on out, come out to Sun Valley and uh, we'll show you around. Okay, that sounds great. And please tell your people, you know, even if, I understand growing up with these superstitions, but if we follow along with that, we're no better than the Camarilla. Okay, okay. Here's some scary shit. Let's discuss. Okay, okay, we'll, we'll catch you there. They drift off toward the garden, <sighs> hopefully making their way out. I'm gonna go try and find the others. Okay. Victor, you and Torrance have found Nelly. I guess I'm there as well. Yeah, we were downstairs in the basement. We can come back up. Um, yeah, we can come back up. Baron Nelly Griffith. Baron Temple? Torrance, freshly of the Valkyries. Oh. Clan, Clan, Clan Gangrel. Oh, it's a pleasure, darling. She <laughs> shakes your hand awkwardly in that position. <laughs> Great. Nice to meet you, Torrance. You know, I had a, I had a, I had a Pomeranian that could do that. Why did you? You didn't, okay. You, I had mentioned to Torrance that it was, uh, we'd heard things about maybe the gangrel were doing something big in town and I just wanted to uh, ask her when I found out that she was a part of this remarkable clan. Hey. Ah. You the Jasp. The Jasp. I, uh, if that's what. That's what that's, Casey calls you. That's what Casey calls me, all right. <laughs> then yes, I guess I am. Cool. Hi. Hey, not to skip ahead, Torrance, but I believe we had an agreement that if I were to present you to Baron Nelly Griffith, you would answer my question about, are the gangrel doing anything big these nights? Nah. <laughs> you really I, fell for that? You know, but and, and, and I played that very card myself like a night ago. <laughs> hey, congrats. Congrats. <laughs> Thank you. Super cool. I appreciate it. Thanks for coming out. Are you having fun? Yeah, oh, yeah. Casey good. promised us a good time. I mean, nobody's You'll broken see. anything yet, but maybe night's, night's young. I love the... Oh, it's good, isn't it? It's like gravity yeah. defying. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I got lucky because uh, when my night came, it was, I had a, it was a great hair night. Yeah. Yeah. I can do a lot with it. I... I can see. You should come riding with us sometime. What? Yeah, Annabelle. You you, I hear Annabelle came. You 100% should do that thing. Yes, riding. I hear, I hear Casey and Annabelle been riding. Riding yeah. motorcycles. Yeah. Right, you, 
It's great. What's this about riding motorcycles? <laughs> you. What's you, a motorcycle? You said it three times. Yeah. Yeah. I got so excited. Uh, Annabelle, Torrance, Torrance, Annabelle, Hey, you the bell. Hey. Torrance. How's it going? Nice to meet you. Nice Valkyries. Amazing. Yeah, I just joined the Valks. Oh, welcome aboard. Hey, thanks. We all have nicknames, by the way. The Jess? The Jess. I like I don't it. I have a nickname. Uh, you may not. It sounds almost. Oh, you got a nickname. You the G. <laughs> the G? Yeah. <laughs> There's so many jokes in that. Yeah, yeah, but you know, it's go. I get maybe you should be the B. No, you're the B. That's me. I guess so. Maybe you should be the B, maybe you should be the BG. No. That sounds old. That's confusing. It's been done know. before. We'll figure it out. Okay, no, great. We'll figure look, it out. Look at all this gold. No, it great. works. It's on brand though. You are working and staying alive. I'm with it. <laughs> look, I love this, but I'm going to go. And I just turn around and walk towards X and Eva. <laughs> Welcome aboard. Hey, thanks. Case is an incredible leader. Yeah. Like she and I are real for real, ride or die. Hold on with the writing. <laughs> Come yeah, on. She cool, she cool. Dead in advance. Great We'll get party. you on a bike yet. Oh gosh. That absolutely should happen. Oh, I haven't done that in years. Great party boss lady. Thank you, thank yeah. you. Is there anything I can do for you? Uh, you know, Casey, um, well, I think Casey would, She'd probably like to start a fight, but we won't let that. We won't right. Let that well, hold on to those fists. We'll come by later on some night when you're less busy and talk. We we kind of like to ride for you. Awesome. Yeah. Let's let's yeah let's talk about that. Okay. I would love to hear about that. Yeah. Cool. 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 I'm not going to take up any more of your time. I know you're busy. You got like three thousand people waiting to kiss your ring thing. Hey. I told you you need a ring. I that's what I was supposed. Needed. A that's ring. what I was supposed to do, right? I was supposed to kiss it, wasn't I? No, I Don't, just I get I get ring. it wrong. Mm -hmm. Why? That is that's, that is not a kissing ring. We're among friends. I know. Yeah. Jasper slides back in and goes, "I may want to talk to Case about that. About what? The fighting thing." And then I leave again. <laughs> <laughs> he does that. Jasper wants to start a fight. It's cool. It's cool. Cool. Hey, great to meet you. Likewise. I'm gonna go dance. Oh, hey. Ballroom blitz. What's going on? Like, so I, I've been trying to meet everybody, but it's really difficult. Yeah. Uh -huh. Have you guys made the rounds to folk? There's yeah. One more meeting I need to do, but yes, give me the. Oh, just some Sun Valley Baron and. Excuse uh, me? What? Sun Valley Baron. I'm sorry, Apparently. who? <laughs> As Annabelle is explaining, Campbell makes a sudden reappearance and uh, appears at Eva's shoulder. Miss Eva, are you oh. sure you're feeling okay? Can I get you anything? I... You look like you were about to maybe slide into the pool there. Oh, no. <laughs> Whoops. Thank you, Campbell. I'm good. I was just looking for Jess. How, I mean, how can you miss him? <laughs> Thanks, Campbell. Anytime. Very good, thank you. Cool, great, thanks. Could you point out this Baron of Sun Valley to me? Um, he's over there, not do, important. Do like, not him? as a Victor. Sure. No, Victor, just, focus. No, no, I'll be right back. <laughs> no. <laughs> I really do want No, back. for real, Victor. <laughs> just come back here for a second, okay? Please talk quickly. Focus. Something is up with the Thin Bloods. There are too many things, the things Everybody is out for them, okay? And everybody thinks that Gehenna is gonna happen and I'm worried about them. If they get, if they're compromised in any way, it could set off a bad chain of reaction, bad chain reaction and this whole war could kick off again. Okay, we need to get people on the ground about this. We need to just get the words out to everybody, okay? Can I <laughs> Enjoy. You're on your way. Mm -hmm. Eva, you were about to say something. Oh, Jasper, uh, do you mind if I steal him? No, from, I, I mean, ahead. you probably already know. It's no, it, it doesn't work like that. Uh, yeah. Also, just sorry, blanket one. Okay, I'm sorry too. I'll hold you to that. Blanket one, and then I'll just make my way away. I guess. Yeah. I know I really messed up today. It's more, I, I'm, more complicated than that, but all right. 
I know it's more complicated than that. Um, and I don't want to bring anything back on you or, or I know you don't want anything connecting you to Strauss and, 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 and you're, and I made a mistake and, and I, I really care about you, Jasper. I'm gonna go away now, okay? I'm sorry. You're gonna... What? what? You're gonna go away? Yeah. What? Why? Where? Where are you going? Somewhere where I... Um, won't be your problem. Um, you're, you're, I, you know, my problem. We don't have I've to already, go away. We can okay. talk about this. It's okay. It's not okay. You have a lot of other things to deal with, and it sounds like um, our angel still wants to talk to you. And uh, please don't tell me you're going away because of that. No, I already decided earlier. Look, I, I can't stop you from going anywhere, but I'm not. We can talk about this. It's, it's you okay. don't just have to go away. I thought you weren't running anymore. I'm not running. I uh, I'm gonna go clear some things up. Straight to the source. No running. Okay. This is to remember me, okay? There's nothing on that. No one should try and take it from you or or notice it for any. I mean, it means something to me, but there's no no magic, nothing. Okay, it's just it's just a ring for you. Don't. They all need you right now, okay? I promise. It's okay. Okay. I trust you. I'm going to turn and walk out. I'm going to leave the party. Uh, Blake finds you, Annabelle. What happened? Oh, we talked and, you know, I hope I gave a convincing argument as to why thin bloods really are. No, we're used to it. We're used to it. I'm sorry. I, and I also don't want to, like, you know, be your champion and stuff. Like, Delilah's doing a great job herself. She's rad, right? I just, this is hard because I feel like we can't be tearing ourselves apart if we have to face down the Camarilla. You know, it's, this is, it's, we're so close. We're so close to a war at any time and. You know what, it's a party. It's your boss lady's party. I'm sure Miss D is gonna to wanna to talk to you about this at great, like, don't beat yourself up about it. You're doing everything that can be I, done. I, I hey, dance with this. me. Okay. Just dance with me. Just All right. you know, stop carrying this on your shoulders from yeah. just the length of a song and dance with me. <laughs> okay, thanks. Sure. Cool. Oh, we're dancing? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hey. Right. Uh, this is the part where I got to tell you I don't know how to dance. You know what? You just move with the music. But Jelly G, the hour is getting late, and many of the mortals are beginning to say their farewells, drink their last drinks, pay their respects. 
hoping that you'll remember their names tomorrow. We'll see. No promises. No promises. Any of the coterie that I see around? Well, Victor was making a beeline for the uh, Sun Valley coterie. Apparently, X is uh, on the dance floor with uh, Annabelle and a someone you don't know. <laughs> Jasper, you don't see anywhere, and you don't see any Eva either. Hmm. Um. I don't see. Them. I'm just sitting off to the side. I'm not. You're not attracting visible. attention to yourself. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not invisible. I'm just sitting. I'm specifically looking for him. So would I find? Well, it's your party. If you want someone found, you're gonna find him. Um. Can I just go sit next to him? Hey. Can I help you? Just seeing how you are. We didn't get to finish our conversation earlier. Uh, yeah, okay. What's up? Yeah. I have some things in the works right now that I could certainly use your help with. Okay. What are what what is it? I have some codes that you might want to take a look at. They're not in probably your favorite way of uh, decoding things. They're in fashion magazines. <laughs> okay. Um, I could certainly use your help. Um, it's like a um, cipher? Yes. Like a, yeah. Okay. I've been doing my best to crack them, but there's some stuff that I, I may misinterpret. It would be helpful to have another set of eyes. Yeah. I, I... So perhaps at another time, another night. I got time now. So. You sure? I mean, not now, now, but in yeah. general now. Yeah. Okay. I have lots of time. Where's Eva? Gone. That's what I thought. Okay. Anything I can do for you? Not a fucking thing. Okay. You let me know if I can help a little? Yeah. All right. Well, take care of yourself. Yeah, thanks. Um, I'll get those from you at some point. Okay. The last thing that everyone hears before the party's over is Victor Temple saying, I'm gonna explain this exactly one time. There is one Baron in the Valley and that is me <laughs> and everyone there, Duskborn and all are under my protection. With Daunt activated. <laughs> That's the quickest exit from a party you have ever seen. <laughs> Every night's not a party, though, because this is the world of darkness. And in the world of darkness, nothing, no kindred. No mortal is what they seem. And yet, all of it, everything is connected. And it turns out, and I shit you not, it was a guy in a fucking Bigfoot costume, like some <laughs> Halloween store, <laughs> Scooby-Doo shit. I'm, no. I'm serious. No, you know, no we, fucking way. We all had a good laugh, but at I the don't time, believe you. Of course, it wasn't you know as funny because he had just killed you know ten or fifteen people. But uh, yeah, that was the weirdest one, I think. Easily the weirdest case we did. You're such a liar. I'm, I cross my heart. <laughs> you know, hope to die. I swear on Nelly. It's yeah, it was insane. All right, I believe you. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Hey, I haven't offered you food so far. Yeah, you're learning. Yeah, see, I'm picking up on that. Oh. Yeah. Good for you. Hey, what was your... I mean, I assumed you ate as a human, but that was so long ago. What did you eat uh, back then? No, no. What, don't like the wanna, 18, 1880s don't or something? What was that? Shut up. Don't want to. What, what did people eat then? What did you... What was your favorite food? Hey, what the fuck's that guy over there doing? What? I, hey. Are you fucking kidding me? Take care of the car while I'm gone. What? And it's lasagna. Oh, Eve, I swear to fucking God. Eve! 
Eve, you get back here. Ta. No, I, Eve, got a fucking Eve. Oh.